Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Boston Blue Beat. Uh, I am Milky J, and tonight I have my uh, co-host with me. Hello, it's Swell. How you doing tonight, Milky? Not too bad, not too bad. Just uh, stepped outside, it's looking really nice. You know, put some plants outside and get a little sunlight, you know, get some water. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> out there right now. I just came in from the sun myself, but, you know, I'm feeling nice already. But I'm going to feel even nicer once we get into these matches here for this Midnight Carnival qualifier for Boston Bluey. And first up, looks like we got Magus and Noise Tank. Oh, Magus. That, that, that name Magus makes me think of a. Uh, I don't know how long you've been in you know like in the scene. Mm -hmm. There was a there was a person named Magus one two three four. I don't think they're the same person. <laughs> I want to say they're not, but uh, if anyone knows the person uh, Magus, then yeah, yeah I, I definitely. All right. Get into it. This is like a Magus rolling this on email here. We got noise tank on that plastic uh, Thai cream stay with that uh, that milky color. So we always, always got this, uh, this milk colored tie on uh, game one on the screen here, I swear. Sure. Ooh, so it's giving me a shout out, Joe. No, right. You know, because of the, uh, the, the duo of the swell, the swell milk. Swell milk? The milky swell? We'll see which one we land on. <laughs> well, we, got the, uh, we got the perfect rank maggots going in with the Eno. <laughs> yeah, you that first there a moment ago, and you those notes, uh, that force break notes, you know, really strong at controlling space with uh, the move around. Also, we got Eno coming out in stride too, retaining a lot of her uh, movement. Not quite the same, but has a lot of the same uh, air mobility. So we're just going to see how that turns out. For now, though, I'm always having to see how the mix ups turn out in the corner here. Let's go for the big tree. Oh, yeah, so all the force break notes. Okay, no, no follow up on that. Definitely could have gotten an air starter like a jump, uh, a jump slash or a jump kick. Anything. Yeah, then, then uh, fight can out there. Oh, green sever. Not blocked that green sever. Not not away. No extension. Oh. oh, that was that was so close to closing it out there if the extension had been picked up. But was still able to close it out for game for round one in game one. Oh, Eno <laughs> with the what was wow 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 what that face when she's getting knocked down and her face. Right? <laughs> she's losing it. <laughs> Look, right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> she's like, ah. Oh, <laughs> Alright, got the dust combo <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man. Just the uh, full attention off the dust combo there. Oh, oh that was a good burst. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a bad burst. Alright, you got burst. Gotta make it count though. Oh no, no that did not combo. Oof! Trying to get up and around here. Nice. It looks like Noise Tank is doing a really good job of approaching at angles that Magus isn't quite sure. Not not quite. Sh I don't want to say not quite sure, but not quite countering. And Noise Tank here, sitting on this big life leap here, is in no rush to have to go in here. Is a welcoming Magus to try to make the offense happen. Yeah, Magus is getting some hits, but nothing really like sticking. Oh, should have went for Echo. Oh, oh, burn my Noise Tank. Oh, throw. Okay, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Trying to run into it, there's no, 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 Peter available on Kai. Ooh, that force break seal in the air, making it to hold that pressure. Charge stun edge as well. Got more stun edges here. No resources available for Magus. That's a tall order, and Noise Tank closes out the order, cleans up the bill, also hits the tip. 20% or more. Let's be nice out there. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, you know, that, that was, a uh, Magus was, like, working kind of like on a hero situation. I wanted to believe, but, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's all right. It's game one. Make oh a little God. information, work the nerves out a bit. Uh, also, when did this prize pool jump to $197 on the match arena? What? Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. Um, oh, we're playing for some scratch today. Oh, oh my God. Thank you, Jest, uh, Jesterin, for the $100 donation. And thank you, yeah. Taru Taru King. Taru Taru King showing up again? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Getting up in the air here. Nice knock him. Okay, all right. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's something. That was on Oh, okay. yeah, Mesa. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, see? Now they're definitely moving with some, uh, some confidence. Yeah, oh, some intention oh, behind this, too. Nice ACL! Yeah, right. See, but there's a lot of unfortunate instances of the air dash, uh, of the hover dash, rather, going at, like, just the wrong angle to, to get to get put into the corner there. I don't know if Noise Tank is very consciously trying to move around that and make that happen, or if it's just unfortunate luck for Magus. Right now, though, very unfortunate with this knockdown off the top. Off the okay, okay. That, was a, that wasn't a bad burst from, uh, from Magus. Still definitely can, even with, you know, these hits. Mm -hmm. There's a, wow. Ooh. Noise tank with the, got your ankles, fool. Every time the green sever crosses up the history of the sky, I just, mm, I feel it in my soul. That might be nice. That's the FRC2. Oh, rock with the paper crust. Magus robbed it. Oh, please. No. You had so much meter. You could have just did FB note or it just, just like. Yeah. That's the situation a bit more. We got that much meter. But, you know, uh, Noise Tank is on match point. But Magus is making some adjustments here. Getting a little bit of a footing more. Okay. Gets hit by the black thing. Oh, not normal. Oh, there's a lightning. 
but really good use of the seal from the voice tank here to control the angles at which Magus can try to approach, really forcing Magus to try to have to think twice about things. Ooh, and it's paying off some dividends right now for noise tank. Doesn't get the full extension, but still has Magus in a very rough spot there. And noise tank. my elbow again, Eno. I'm gonna send you back to the backyard. Mm, yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, dropping that lore there as well? Mm, nice. Nice. I see you. Alright, noise tank takes that. Two games over Magus. While we're in between matches here, please do consider hitting up that match arena. The prize pool is already popping, but you know, you can add a little bit more with the coupon code right there. You can hit it up in the chat. That should have all the details for you. So please do consider hitting it up. Let's see what match we have coming up on deck for y'all. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be... Dave O versus Kaisuke. Oh, yo, Dave O. Yo, shout out to Dave O. Uh, homie. Tell me about, tell me about Dave O. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen Dave O play before. Dave was a long time Guilty Gear player, actually. Uh, okay. Been playing since before Plus R, I think. <laughs> oh my, okay. Yeah, they, they've been in the scene for a minute. Uh, also, a KO 13 player as well, Dave. I see KO oh, Hell stuff. yeah. Boys in the building, squad in the building, you know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely rooting for you. But um, yeah, Dave plays a uh, Soul, Order Soul, and some Slayer. I think they could play the whole cast on. If I'm being honest, that's gotcha. how much of a, uh, a veteran, you know, how much of that veteran tenure they have. So. Mm -hmm. Especially well, been playing been... Oh, oh, go ahead. oh no, please finish out. Um, I was gonna say, uh, recently they've been playing. Uh, I, I want to say Slayer, but mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know if Dave O oh, changed character. So, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And it's, I was gonna point out too that you say that Dave O has been playing since before Plus R, and like since this Plus R has been out since what 2012? I want to say 2012. Mm -hmm. 2012. If they've been playing since before Plus R, that means they almost got under a decade of gear under their belt. Even if they haven't been playing that whole time, that is a long time to be familiar with this game. So it sounds like Dave O is gonna be showing up with some stuff. I can't say I recognize the name Kaisuke, but I'm interested to see what Kaisuke can bring to the table here. If anyone in chat knows anything about Kaisuke, please feel free to shout it out. And also, since this is a qualifier for that Midnight Carnival, which is like what, a, a gear major, effectively, a plus R major? Yes, it yes. feels like it. It's an invitational, you gotta qualify, or not an invitational, you gotta qualify for it to get into it. We already got four people qualified for it. Elven Shadow, Skeletal Minion, Black Snake, and Jacob Pat. Only one of those names I don't quite recognize, but everybody else did when it came up on chat earlier. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Jacob Pat's showing up with something. But yeah, so that's why we're not seeing those names in the bracket tonight. But that does mean that the top four of this one, anybody's ballgame, because there's a lot of strong players here who normally get locked out by those, by Elven Shadow and Skeletal, who enter this bracket. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just keep it a buck. Like, they, those two are definitely, like, they've oh, yeah. been making the most of uh, Grand Finals appearances and, um, since the Plus R revival, so, you know. But, you know, you got names like Mini Matt, who is just a uh, mm -hmm. top eight at Frosty Fousting. Shout out to you, Mini Matt. What up, homie? Um, and Rayquan. You know, rocking that, uh, that ro rocking some Robokai. I was not, ex you know, so Mini Matt plays Ooh. also, for those that don't know, in Exert. And um, I guess I can see where where one would want to play Robokai because like Hotashi, who was an L felt player, but mm -hmm. Hotashi also played a bit of Plus R before. You know, played played was a Guilty Gear player before uh, Exert, but Hotashi really got like known in Exert with L felt. So it's interesting to see like two players, different sides of the country, mm -hmm. uh, you know, playing two different games with you know having similar character choices. And yeah. also, we got Drew Loken in here, too. Oh, Drew, uh, another another uh, ABBA play, uh, world-class ABBA, so. Really? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, we got to, yeah, there's, and since, as said, Elven Shadow and Skeleton aren't aren't in the bracket tonight, it is a wide-open field. And I mentioned this name a little bit earlier, too. We had we got Raekwon coming in here as well, and Raekwon has been showing up in these Boston Blue Beat tournaments and is a, a bit of a killer with this Potemkin. We already got some action in the bracket, too. We are moving on with these matches. Uh, we'll, get some, we'll get another match here for y'all folks here in a minute. Just sorting out some lobby things, getting players around. Thank you for bearing with us. Thank you so much. Especially with the, uh, you know, there, there was a recent update. So, and, mm -hmm. you know, we're all, we're all kind of like working through the kinks and stuff of this new, um, mm -hmm. of this new patch. You know, it's just making the game better, you know, even more, even greater than it already is. You know, great right. training mode, great online experience. They're really, you know, like... Yeah, if you've not played I, Plus R yet, this game is a really good port right now. Some of the lobby stability is a little little difficult to deal with, but beyond that though, the training mode just got overhauled. You can hop into the replay. It's so sick. Yeah, no, definitely thank you, uh you know, Arc System Works for um showing showing uh older titles some love like this. Oh and, yeah. You know, giving a, a you know just giving it 
giving it life. You know, I, 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 I'm a firm believer of uh, as long as people can play with their friends, no game will really ever die. Like, mm-hmm. you know, no, no game dies. Like, sure, you might not have, like, a, this game might not ever be an Evo again or whatever, but that doesn't mean people aren't going to, you know, like, like look at these turnouts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we, have 30, we, have 40, we have over 40 entrants tonight, so. Yeah, and, like, I have... I did not play gear prior to the up to the rollback update. I played it like once or two at like locals or majors or something, you know, just kind of showing up and I'll try it out. But since since Plus R dropped back in what November, it was when, uh, the Plus R update dropped the rollback update. I've got 230 hours in this game. This game is really <laughs> fun, and it's old too, so you can run it on like anything. It loads up right away. But yeah, you know, another good thing about it being an older title is the game is pretty much like. Of course, there are situations there where you know that come up that uh, that players might not see because it's a it's a very open ended title. I'll mm-hmm. add, but you know the game is very much cemented for the most part. Like mm-hmm. you're not gonna see anything that's too uh, you know you that's know, not say- too outside of the uh, realm of possibility when it comes to. Uh, you know, we say this, but at the same time, there was that uh, input reader update, which is kind of nice, actually, for a lot of uh, players based off of their input device. But it actually, I was going to bring this up while we were watching Magus earlier. Uh, it changes how some characters, the half circles are red. So some of the input stuff with Eno, it's an indirect buff to Eno, or making some of the input stuff a little easier for her. It's not, yeah, an, actual, well, it's not an actual balance change. It's not like they tweaked frame data or anything like that. But, yeah. Also, uh, Spitting Lizards, uh, asking about the Switch version there. Weirdly enough, uh, to my knowledge, the lobbies, because this game didn't used to have lobbies before, uh, before the rollback update happened, and the lobbies were actually ported over from the Switch version. Weird. Oh, wow. Yeah, at least that's, that, that is what I have been told, if my understanding is incorrect. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Devo is uh, picking Slayer here, so it looks like Slayer is going to be who Devo is rolling with. I don't think we usually see too much Slayer here on this bracket, so I'm pretty hyped for this. Name. I've actually been recently picking up Slayer um, since uh, Magnum Opera ended. I've been having a ton of f- more, even more fun with this game. So. Yo, that yeah. intro for those, that's so sick. This game, yeah. oh, that, that sick color matching as well. Oh my god, video games are awesome. All right, so uh, okay, I'll let you have to handle the technicalities for Slayer, but right now they're trying to run this pressure. Oh, what a nice oh. jump heavy into a 6 H, but yeah, Kaisuke uh, uh, X with the with the good burst. Ooh. Nice. Oh, oh, I love oh, it. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I don't know the name of that big move, but uh, it's a uh, it's quarter circle back. Gotcha. In, uh, in, uh, in course break. Ooh, get the double stop, the triple stop, the slide. I love it. Yo, Slayer usually shows up with these hands and can do work with those feet too. Look at this. Excellent. Ooh. Stop there. That oh was a true combo. God, you, that was same side, other side, same side. <laughs> All in one combo. Oh, it's in your face, fool. Oh, oh, wow. The jump kick just hitting so long. Slayer with the handy legs. Oh, 6 feet. Nice. Getting up on it. Safe jump. Safe jump. Nice FRC there to keep things safe. Oh, yeah, still able to keep Kaisuke locked down in the corner, though. Good stuff. Checking with that stomp there, that down, that 2H. Nice. The movement with Slayer is very... You can, you can tell... Uh, Mm-hmm. They're really comfortable with the game because there's not really much wasted movement at all. Ooh! Yeah, and Slayer is uh, one of the characters who has some atypical movement aspects to him. So if you can move and move with Slayer, it's you can do a lot of work with that character. Nice okay. stuff. I think actually still not out of it. Okay. Ooh, that's it. Okay. 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 This is some damage. Okay. There is burst available. Using the FRC there to try to recover faster here. Burst available on both sides. Not just a closer to You know, getting a little greedy on that burst. Uh, not big, but just thinking that Davo was going to burst, but it works out for KX, you know. Uh, uh, DP. Davo committing to, to crouching dust. To oh. Trying to slide in there with those punches, though. Not quite working out. Gets the scoop. What's going to be here? Backs away. Ooh. Trying to check with that 2H a lot. The 2H is that stomp that you see in Slayer do where there's a little explosion around his feet there. Goes to the Big Bang Upper, doesn't get anything out of it though. Oh, Ooh. nice! Check that any counter, Yeah, counter hit, uh, crouching slash. Good damage. Oh! Ah! Ooh. Look at how much damage that was to that That deep in the health bar. Good oh stuff. My God. Stomp, stomp, stomp. stomp. <sighs> Damn, making the downstairs neighbors mad. Someone's getting I a letter say, from the landlord. I say, have a seat, hoss! <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Getting back into it here. Oh, changes up to Kai instead. Interesting. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. Kaisuke is, you know, you pronounce their name. It is Kai in it. So. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, I see what you say. I see what you say. <laughs> of, course, of course they would play Kai <laughs> at some point, right? You right. play Haas, you probably play regular Soul, or you play Kai, or you play, you know, Jam or somebody. Know. But we'll see how the uh, how the Kai pick works for Kaisuke X. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, so, so check this too. That uh, force break that we saw there, that led to the kicks, it's a force break dandy step, but it allows you to go into the extensions out of it and has some uh, invincibility through the startup though. So it gets you to the same extensions as the dandy step normally does, but yeah. Yeah, I just know moves, guys. I'm so ugly, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, oh, okay, that move does that, that move does that. Yo, I appreciate the catch there, too. Thank you. All right. Good stuff. Very much appreciated. Nice vapor thrust at the end of the dust combo there. Gets the JD with a, with a little bit of a mix-up afterwards. I love when Kai's use that JD so much. Yo, really? Why just that juggle? This is still going? This might be dead. Oh. Very yeah, good. Uh, with the super, but it doesn't even matter. With that much meter, what, what are they going to do? Right. <laughs> oh. Still have burst available here as well. Kaisuke SX doesn't have too much burst ready, so it's gonna be a while until that comes back. Ooh, catches it with a the knockdown there. Tries to mix it up. So, oof. Okay, okay, what's Kaisuke X gonna do here? Oh no, tries to set up with the JD but gets scooped for the trouble. Gets the crossover. Not letting uh, any, any kind of breathing. Oh no, that had to be an accidental respect. Yo, I respect it. Flip the hair. <laughs> Yo, Kai's respect his hair flick? Damn, okay. I might be a Kai player now. Nice FRC there to mix things up. Oh, ah, dang, stop, yo, jump up, <laughs> look at this go, look at this go, it's still going. Oh, first fill on both sides here. Flipping that flip. does it. <laughs> All right, uh, Dave, Dave takes oh, it. Take that, yeah, take that uh, pretty convincingly 2-0, but even though it was a, you know, it was a, it was a, you know, kind of quick 2-0, Kaisuke was definitely not looking like, it, at, like, ignorant of the game at all, you know, it was just, Davo has so much, has so much experience in tenure, yeah. so. It's, and yeah, when you're fighting up against somebody who has that much experience as well, and they're playing a character who can call out a lot of stuff the way that Slayer can, like, would it be fair to say that Slayer's a character where a lot of his tools don't necessarily cover a lot of options, but each of his tools can cover a specific option very well? I'm trying to think about that, that's a right, a good way to conceptualize yes, the character yes, for folks. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That, that definitely is. And also, uh, Spitting Lizards, uh, we have at least one jam player in bracket, but I don't know if they're going to end up on stream or not. I'm not sure of um, I'm not sure of how the bracket's going to break down, but we do have at least one jam player in here. Uh, Northwest Serpent, uh, who I think is a plays blue player normally, but I believe plays G. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, sir. Oh, wow, they're in this too. There's a whole lot. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, we got A3R coming up here, going up against uh, Unhinged Man. Can't say I... Okay, at least I believe A3R should be coming up here. We're going to try to verify that. Uh, Northwest Serpent, let me peep it out and check the bracket here. Thanks for tuning into Boston Bluebeat as well, folks. If you haven't already, please do consider... Oh, no, got dropped to losers already because they hadn't checked in. Unfortunate. Oh, no. Who was that? That was uh, Northwest Serpent, the jam player that I was just talking about. That's all it goes. But yeah, uh, do seem to... Con do consider hitting up that match arena, folks, uh, while we're waiting to get another match coming up here. Trying to see who we can get available. A lot of people signed up for this tournament because everybody wants to get into that uh, Midnight Carnival, where there's going to be a little bit more of a prize pool, even more of a prize pool than what we got tonight, which is already uh, a pretty nice prize pool. So, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> looking kind of nice. So do consider, uh, yeah, rather, that's why we got everybody here trying to line up and get in on this. You know the uh, the usual uh, stompers of uh, mm -hmm. of these brackets. You know they're not in, so it's it's kind of nice so that they don't have to be like get them out. <laughs> you get to you know see other people uh, get a chance and you know get a mantle at them. Like, yeah, like it's a like I'm not gonna lie. If I if I hear that like when I back when we had locals, if I saw that there were there were often some gatekeepers that like I'd be like damn if they're showing up, there's no way I'm getting past that. But like. This, this is maybe not, not not the most of a proud moment for me, but I'll admit it. I'll admit it. If I saw like somebody post like can't make it to locals tonight, everybody have fun. I'd be like maybe I'll enter that bracket. <laughs> not that I'm gonna duck them straight up, but you know sometimes I just want to play casuals. But if I got a stronger shot, maybe I'll go for it. <laughs> Either way, we got a hell of a, we got still got a hell of people available or out there right now. We got digital watches here as well. Gonna be doing some work with that Axel. If you like watching Axel? Digital watches I think made it to top four last week or the week before that. Been oh, doing work either way. That. Yeah, hmm. I think the week before that. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Because I think they fought uh, Skeletal, or was it uh, Rayquan? I think it was Rayquan and like uh, yeah, one of the, somebody in losers finals. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then we got oh yeah, we got Vicky Viper showing up tonight as well. Oh nice! So it's gonna be some more Kai. Yeah, we got hella Kai. You got Lem with that cliff. Oh, Lem got a win under. Yeah. Oh, Lem already got a win. The bum wit. All right, I have no idea whose team name that is, but all right. Let me see if we can figure out what match is getting called here. All right, all right. Oh, look. Okay. Oh, digital watches oh. and pandemic. We're just talking about digital watches. So oh, damn, I can't tell who's who with these steam names. We'll know real quick though when we see that Axel show up. <laughs> so we got hella play count on both of these both these players though. Look at that. I don't even know what level 13 is called in this game. I don't. <laughs> what is level 13 rank called? I don't know. I guess it's better. I didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I played rank a couple times, but like that's it. Yeah, um, no, I've been I've been mostly in player matches too. Like I grinded rank a little bit just to get some like random matchup experience under my belt. And then after that, I was just like, I've been in player matches pretty much. So I got hella matchup experience against a few characters, but I'm always looking to round it out a little bit. If anybody wants to fight a Venom, hit me up. Oh, wait, Stone's here too? Yo, what up, Stone? Yeah, Stone's, Stone's got, Stone's got Rayquan. Stone. I haven't seen Stone in a very long time. I think we had Stone enter in a previous week, so uh, it's not their first Boston Blue beat. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, who's, who's Stone play again, if you don't mind refreshing my memory? Or Stone, if you're in chat, if you want to shout it out. Stone's a o, uh, OG Johnny head. Like, Ooh, maybe, Johnny, yes! Yeah, okay, I remember like, this. I feel like at least 15 years, maybe 20 years. Stone's been playing Guilty Gear for a very long time. That was a name I heard when, before I even knew what Guilty Gear was. Yo, so. okay. <laughs> the old Texas guard. So. All right, so we got Digital oh, we got, Watches uh, going up against Pandabetic. Digital Watches on the Axle and Pandabetic on the Faust. No TSB? Yeah, East Coast versus West Coast. Let's get it, son. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so Axel versus Faust. What do you hit? What do you, what do you not want to deal with in this matchup? Yo, this Faust color is sick. I've never seen this shirt before. Nice. It's got a very nice uh, color choice. Uh, this matchup is, I feel, it's kind of evenish, but as Faust, like you know, Faust is a mid-range or long-range fighter, right? See, in those ranges, it's. I feel like it's a very uh, Axel can because Axel can challenge Faust in areas where you know normally they're comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. Typically unsafe stuff you can get punished for it. It makes it a bit, a bit harder. Oh wow, did nice really job hard. on the burst. A little bit of yeah, or a bit early on the um, you know, on the burst, but a base the bomb. But that works out for Panda Medic either way. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a, yeah, you said that the worth of the uh catch forcing the burst usage there. Oh no, unfortunately, you don't want to burst there oh, and axle, that's rough. Oh wow, why wow. nice tech that with that uh his burst right now? He earned from uh, Panda Medic. Ah, uh, yeah, it, it, it'd be like that, it'd be like that. You know, first round, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Even oh, yeah. you know, first, play a little round, slow. Yeah, Ooh, first okay. round, first game, feel things out a little bit, see how it goes. Of course, though, too. You know, while Stone, Stone's been playing a while, Digital Watches with Axel, extremely strong. I think they, they I, I want to say both of them have been playing for like, <laughs> the same time. Yo, they are, no disrespect, they are gear relics, like, and I mean that in the most respect and great, you know what I mean? No, like, of course, of course, of course, we, we pay homage to those who have come before us in these games. Until we got a uh, destroy them in bracket, but we'll see how it goes right now. But the better watch is bottom. Uh, just can't really get started at all. Digital watch is playing so fast. Just every decision, okay. Oh, here we go, there's a knockdown. You just go up here. All right. Oh, it's signed out. Well, you know, I was just checking um, Pandabetic in the neutral uh, in, the, in that uh, in that situation right there. See, and it's kind of those spaces right there where mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know Axel has a uh, multiple options. It has the counter, you know, and has a uh, close range normals as well and special moves. So it's very uh, it, it's tricky for Faust to really deal with that effectively. Like they have like Faust has to make a uh, a decently hard read, I'll say, and, and go for a whiff finish against uh against. Yeah. Axel. Like, it's very, very much what you were saying earlier too about where the way that Faust would normally fight matches can't really do that versus Axel, and so it, it, and just with how Axel's buttons come out and the spaces that where Axel's buttons come out, so yeah, it seems tricky to deal with. Let's we'll see if Pandabetic can make the make the adjustment necessary here to handle what Digital Watches is putting out there. Yeah, even though um even though Panda is the underdog, let's go. You know, I'm yeah, sure right. Definitely can make it happen. Pandabetic uh, got a top eight at a top of punch, a very stiff one, so. No. Nice. Yeah, so obviously, oh, so doing that work too, showing up at Casa as well. Nice. So, oh, unfortunate though. Right now, looking like Digital Watches kind of running the board. 
Still yeah. split on a perfect. There's that poison hit. God damn. Not able to get much out of the poison, though. Had a trade afterwards. Ooh, no punish on that. Oh. Watch is just on it. Yeah, Watch is playing very well right now. Watch is wants that in that carnival spot. Yeah, for sure. Yo, Watch is just like, yo, Elvin and, uh, and Skeletal Lane. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> yo, my time. This is my time now. It's recording. Like, you know, I got this one. Let me see slide into this top four real quick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh, trying to get a piece here. Oh, it doesn't quite work out. Oh, this catches with going my way, but not even going to get any pressure from it afterwards. It's kind of better. Yeah, Tom yeah. just hasn't really been able to get stuck. It's just, it's like Digital Watches just has such a, um, mm -hmm. such an idea of what Pandabetic wants oh, to do. No. Even doing it. So, and when the Axel has, you know, that's really the hard, it's like, that, that's extremely hard for you. Oh, flying objects! Let's go! <laughs> I'm gonna put flying object with RC afterwards. Tech with the Force Break Pogo, though. This might be something. This is how Okay, it does have burst available, has a lot of meter on deck here. Oh, it might be able to be oh, what you mean? Oh, let's oh, this is the momentum oh. shift. Let's do it, Pandabetic. Oh, oh no, the 2k gets stuck! It doesn't matter, Axel's too far in burst safe, and Digital Watch is gonna 2-0 that. Looking very, like, mm. sharp and pristine and just ready to, to take no prisoners tonight at all. Yeah, unfortunate there. I feel like Pandabetic was starting to put it together there at the very end. If Pandabetic had been playing like that and, and was able to pull out those good exchanges that entire time, might have been a very different set, but unfortunately wasn't able to pull it together until the very end there, and at that point was already a little bit too late. Because also too, even though there was burst available on Pandabetic's side, that's so scary to burst against Axel, especially if Axel gets one of those far range starters there. Because if you burst, Axel's just gonna psh, snipe you out of the sky. Yeah, it's a pretty hard part. Yeah, super, super, uh, just like, oh, okay. Well, okay. Okay. All right, we got Tails coming up here, one of the Boston Blue Beat regulars. Well, let's go, Tails. Going up against, ah, Drews, who you were talking about earlier. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so it's going to be, um, likely Anji versus Abba. Anji versus Abba, okay. So Tails does have a lot of experience in this matchup here. Um, I don't know about versus Drews specifically, but I know that Tails has dealt with Abba on several occasions, so we'll see how Tails does here against Drews. Both of these players are, uh, they're, they're GG OGs, so, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for those that don't know, Drew's, uh, Drew Loken was a, um, let's see, is, I'm not sure where they are, but when I came in, um, they were from the Midwest, and they were, um, like, mm -hmm. they were the ABBA before Skeletal Minion, as far as I knew. Oh, I see. I, I had heard names of, uh, of, of Drew Loken and stuff, but I was like, oh, I, I don't know, you know, I was like, well, let's see, and I saw them doing work at, um, the, the, what was it, the 2012, um, a TSB High Rollers event that happened such a long. Oh, that was yeah. That was <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you just like say something that, that just let us that just made you feel your age? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> D-Base was there in Flint too, so that's uh, that lets you oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get, let's get to the action here. Oh no! Oh, really? The orb didn't hit at all. Yeah, the tail's a little bit too early uh, on the timing, but um, gotcha. Drew is already in the in the optimal position for this corner control. Mm -hmm. Oh. Got that uh, Maroha up as well already, too. So there's a lot of damage coming out here. Anji does have Guts 5, but ABBA does so much damage. I don't know if it's going to matter just like that. Yo, the ABBA army's out here. Skeletal, Drews, um... Mm -hmm. there, there, what was the, there was a... I want to say, like, Mole? That, that was a really good uh, ABBA player. We got top 8 at Frosty. So, yeah, the ABBA army is real right now. Skills is going to need more... Or going to need more than an army. You're going to need a whole platoon for this... Uh, for this... <laughs> Yeah, this is looking real rough for Tails right now. Now, Abba is one of these Feast or Famine characters, so it's not... Oh, slightly mistimed there on the flip kick. Didn't quite pan out. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, Abba's a very Feast or Famine character, so it's extremely possible that this could go very different in the next game. But right now, though, this is looking firmly in Drew's hand. Yo. Oh, no! No! Unfortunate. Oh, uh, uh, that... Yeah, yeah. And even though... So, you know... And the highest level, I want to say, like, even, I, I don't know, I know you said, you mentioned Tails has some, um... <laughs> Tails just called out, I have so little Abba experience in chat. <laughs> Never mind. So, yeah, that's... I don't believe Tails. I do not believe Tails when they say that. <laughs> maybe, maybe on this level? Right. Okay, on this level, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Skeletal that's fair. and like, you know, like Mole and like, and Drew, okay. you know, the bang with these, that's, 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 yeah, that's true. Gotta grind out. Oh my god, that's grab. Works up and oh, what up and throw. Oh, Don't die on the first. 
every time I see Bandai blow up a burst, my heart breaks. Ugh. All right, back dash. Okay. Do it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Alright, Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's all you need. One hit. Apple bleeds. All right, here we go. Fire the sky, beam high. Oh, oh, trying to finish out the Oki game. Able to get escape here. There's a lot of meter available on Druce as well, so even if Tails can try to get something oh started here. Abba's saying, I'm not a butterfly whisperer. I'm not a spirit whisperer. I just, I put this blood in my knee and oh! I'm here for the blood. <laughs> Ain't here for the butterflies? Oh, Anji said, I'm here for the blood too. Oh, right, oh! However, though, that was a round though for, 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 for Tails. So Tails able to make something happen here. Oh no, pushing the corner here. It's gonna be rough. I gotta read the tails though. Wow. Tails the time. I thought I was gonna go on the other side. Ooh, nice! Nice! Yo, that was really good to wear some tails to sleep and to make the hurt box shrink, but. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that first no why? Ah, oh, I just don't want to go. No, no, rock, rock, rock. Let's go, tails. Just like this. Oh! Oh, oh there's the this. own. Gotta get the yeah. knockdown. Gotta get the dizzy. Oh, yes! Here Ooh, we go. Tails. Yeah! Yo, game of. Game of peace here. Tails waking up a little bit in that second game. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, that came to scrap. Yo, let's get it, son. Oh, yeah, no, no. Tails. Heads fly off. Tails wants this right now. Uh, I was I, I was playing not even like two hours ago. I was playing games with Tails. So I know Tails wants this. Oh, that was. That was. I like that adaptation. That Tails was like, yo, I don't, I don't got the matchup experience. I don't care. I'm just touch you once and hit you. I'm gonna run this shit. <laughs> I don't need no matchup experience, I got Fujin! Oh, I just gotta hit him once, yo! Oh, no, okay, there we go, there we go. Gets the burst, just uh, doesn't even want the pressure. Ooh, it's in, it goes really the corner there, really scary. So that, you know, that'll definitely cha uh, change how this uh, outcome goes. Oh, it's Drew with another just dash up bro. Oh, it's very, very hard to do. It's knocked down there. Mm. Tails gets the pressure goal. There's oh, the overhead. Not blocking. Yeah, Druce is going to have to burst. Goku Maroha. Fires up Goku Maroha because he's running low on the install meter there. Didn't want to risk going into the dizzy state F uh, running out of uh, the Maroha meter. So, very smart choice there. This damage! Look at that! I bet, oh, trying to slash back. I bet Tails won't try to meet uh, guard point with Abba when uh, <laughs> next time it goes Maroha. That did not work out at all. Oh, oh. You know, oh, 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 that's a lot of life. Maybe if you had half life, I could under, I could justify the first. But that's too much of a life. Wow, jump heavy from Bruce. Anti air tail. Oh, there's a clash there on whatever that uh, Ow. that button was from Abba. But nice uh, clash. Oh, in the corner here too. This is looking real grim for Tails. And this is what, where Abbott is so scary. Not only does she have Goku Roha, watch the meter build while she's doing this combo. She may not even need the extra meter, but look at that. Oh, oh, ridiculous. And that is it. Druce takes it over Tails. Tails gets the game. Gets the was able to get a game in there. So definitely showed up. But Druce looking too strong for Tails to deal with. And Tails sent to the lower half of the bracket. Not out of this yet. But gonna have to do a lot of work to try to climb to that top four to score that qualifier spot. Tough break for Tails, but so it goes. Yeah, that's happy. Right. Yeah. So like, uh... go Tails. I'm sorry. I thought you had Abbott experience. I wasn't trying to to, to misrep you there, Tails. My bad. All right. So let's see. We've got a A3 Religion and Fireworks coming up for the stream next. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's hope we can get that A3 uh, A3R up here. I know A3R. I believe. Let me see if I can get my lore here. I'm gonna test myself <laughs> by just making the guest live. I believe A3R used to be a Johnny player, but now plays Zappa. Yes, full, fully, fully converted to the to the what one would call the dark side. Oh yeah, Zappa's. <laughs> a, I don't like that character. Z see, here's the thing: it's not even the ghosts that make me upset about Zappa. I can deal with that. I can, I can. Okay, great. This character has three different really strong options that break the game in different ways, which is fine. I can deal with that. But, the fact that Zappa low profiles everything with his dash? <laughs> I get so mad. Goes right underneath my stinger aim. I hate it. <laughs> wow, so apparently rank 13 is master rank in uh, Ooh, rank matches. Master. Wow, that's a, uh, that, that, that sounds like it's one of the highest ranks in this... Uh... I think it might be the only... <laughs> might be the highest... All right, we got A3R going up against Fireworks here. Fireworks on that Order Soul. Rocking some shade of yellow. Cool. What? A3 got the, the more the whippy banana, the the, the ripe the, uh, banana yellow, and a uh, fireworks that sort of rotten banana. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a fruit that has that color, but I can't quite think of one. 
just looks like it's like faded almost. It's like the side of a house that hasn't been uh been repainted yet. <laughs> 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 nice direction. Happen to hold this uh ghost right there though. Oh no, got the curse off of it before a hit there. Oh A3 is throwing those ghosts like uh bowling like bowling balls down the lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ghost there, if you're uh, if you're new to watching Plus R, if one of those ghosts hits you, it puts a curse on you, you can see the ghost hanging around behind there, and the ghost will drop uh, different items on top of you, and it's hard to deal with there. Uh, right now, though, it's got that dog up. The dog is very scary. It can extend some block strings in a very scary way, can potentially set up unblockables, and can do moves while Zappa's and block stuff, which I think is really cool. Run up DP. Oh, nice! I love the run up centipedes into the RC to, to get the pressure back afterwards. Excellent stuff. Three, uh, something I wasn't gonna mention early. Oh wow, going for a gold oh. signature. But um, he, he got a really good whip punish on that ES4 break up earlier for fireworks. So that's that, you know that whip punish EX uh force break against against uh. Oh, yeah. that's pretty difficult. You have to know that's coming. Oh, this is this is whooping the air there. And if, you're, if you haven't seen Zappa before too, those orbs, once Zappa gets up to, I believe it's eight orbs, gets access to a strong summon called Rao. Uh, it's like a big lightning ghost. And Rao is, some would actually argue, not the strongest ghost uh, uh, that Zappa can get, but Rao does do a bunch of chip damage and has a ridiculous DP as well. Right now though, these ghosts are doing a lot of work. Oh, there's a knockdown, takes away the ghost. Every time Zappa gets hit, Zappa will lose the ghost, or lose whichever ghost has summoned, and then uh, get another ghost uh, after the fact. Based off a few things. Ooh, nice stuff there. Getting close to the Rao summon as well. Because depending you know, on, like, you know um, on the screen at the time, like the last, uh, between the nine and the zero, that determines what, uh, Rao. there is Rao. So, yeah. if, if you, yeah, you need a lot of meter to deal with Rao, because Rao does a lot of chips. Like, if, you, if you're just taking it, but l luckily, Rao doesn't stay summoned for as long as other summons. Oh, nice. And, and that last Rao. Oh, okay, okay, last in a Rao. Nice. Oh. I'm quick over time out here. Oh, I don't I can't get Oh, 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 my god. Sean, why that's why, why fireworks is their name. Busting in your face with these flames. Nice. Yeah, hit them with the not the Roman candle, the Roman candle. Bam! Alright, oh, the sword makes here. The sword is so scary. So the sword has an unsealable, not, not unsealable, yeah, right there, that overhead, right there. It's about 13 frames, it is so hard to deal with. And builds hella orbs, too. Look at that, already got round. You can't burst this, because there's no hitbox on the sword. The hitbox on the sword. Looks, oh, no! Oh, has to not hold that. Not perfect connection, perfect. Oh, no! Perfect connection, oh, for your brain. You just get downloaded, and A3 is going to take that first game again. Against fireworks in the, I don't even know if you can, can you even call that a download though? Cause like that was just the sword doing sword things. Sometimes when you fight in Zappa, that's just you just have rounds like that. And and you just gotta accept that that happens sometimes. I won't call it a down. I only call it a download because it was you know, it was that there's that healthy connection. Oh, right, fair, fair. <laughs> Yeah, so if that sword's out, the sword has a 13 frame overhead and then can also get you low as well. And the sword has no hurt box. So if Zappa has you full screen and you don't have a way to, to tap Zappa to get rid of that, you just gotta hold that. And it's so hard. Hey, did y'all hear that? Hey, Zappa, 13 frame overhead. That's faster than Testament, who's also a top four character. I think it's 13 frames. I'm gonna go check my, check my numbers here after this match. But right now, though, I'm gonna watch the centipede pressure. Nice FRC off the ghost toss, too. No, goes another FRC back in the town. Right, the boys are back in town. Well, that what? should play that when Zappa's uh, pulling out the ghosts. There's a rock reference for you, Dice Check. <laughs> no, no, why, yo, Dice Check, what is, yo, why, why do ghosts have belts on? Like, they, look at the, they, have, they, have, they, have, they literally have belts in a, in a vest. Like, oh, well, I think it's like a straight jacket. Like, like they're from an, an asylum, from a style of asylum. Oh, it are, oh, so are, I guess the lore would kind of be like, uh... I'm guessing. Ghosts are like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, all the, all the asylums can get canceled, though. They're pretty bad. But anyways, <laughs> right now, there's pressure here. Trying to... So Fireworks trying to get make something happen. Right now, though, oh, that centipede, there's Rao. Wow. So hard. It's like, here's the thing with Rao. Even if Rao's not going to mix you and make you hold pressure the way that the other ghost will, Rao is such a hard resource check because Rao does so much chip damage. So we can drain all your meter just trying to FD and stay alive. And um, and A3 is sitting on a match point right now, but Fireworks mm -hmm. has not been looking 
you know, it's not that one zap around. They haven't been looking bad at all. You know, they've been yeah, yeah. Really healthily competitive. Yeah, honestly, yeah, being able to hang with A3R like this, because A3R no slouch, has been, as has been said before. So, even just being able to hang here, Fireworks is making something happen. I feel like I've heard Fireworks name before in, in some other game. Nice! That weird centipede move is called Birth. Thank you, Guilty Gear. Hit him with that Birth. Okay, now here we are in the afterbirth phase of the matchup. <laughs> it's getting tossed here that the FRC has the orbs on deck for Rao as well. <laughs> and the Rao and overall, the fireworks has got to watch doing that crouch heavy and the forward heavy slash string too because uh, H3's been deep, you know, centipeding and between that. <laughs> oh, nice block though! Not oh. enough. Not enough. Yeah. DP, run up DP. Oh, shit, sure did it! See, it would work! <laughs> Was that... Just ran up DP or did one for an air throw. <laughs> was able to catch with a taco kick on the back end there and close it out versus Holy Order Soul from Fireworks. But, uh, good showing from uh, A3 and uh, also not a bad showing from uh, Fireworks either. You know, you know, gonna gonna uh, gonna go to the losers bracket, aka Tartarus. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah. not too bad. Yeah, nah, fi Fireworks. Yeah, again, Zappa, one of the the tiers in Guilty Gear plus R are pretty compact compared to a lot of other games. So like, even the weakest character in Plus R will absolutely ruin you if it's a strong player who knows what they're doing. But Zappa is one of the characters who sits atop the heap. So, you know, showing an, against a player of APR's caliber, Fireworks has got nothing to be ashamed of in that matchup there. Oh, somebody said, uh, when you're currently getting hit by Zappa DP, is that when Undernight Emberf happens? Yes, the Undernight Emberf definitely happens when, when Zappa is... <laughs> On your, on your ass. <laughs> and also, yeah, I was correct there. It is a 13 frame overhead on the uh, for the sword there. So yeah, 13 <laughs> frame overhead. What a oh whew. my god! And it's plus, and it's plus. <laughs> and also, it has a second hitbox that becomes a low. So you no, know, he needs it. He needs it. Oh yeah, that, that's oh, yeah. Not just, he needs it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what match we have coming up next for y'all. And if you haven't already, while we're sitting in this small break here, do consider hitting up that match arena. Ooh, we got Jace versus Noise Tank coming up. Hell yeah. Jace rolling in with that Bridget. And gonna be doing some work there. I always love watching Jace play. Bridget Bridget players have such unique brains, and I love watching it. It's so much work with that character. I don't know if it's actually true, but it feels like it's an extremely high APM compared to a lot of other characters, just because you have to juggle where your Roger placement is, how you're trying to, to summon the yo-yo back to you, your movement options as well. So, yeah. And Jace will be going up against Noise Tank, who we saw earlier uh, with Kai. So get some more Kai for you on stream here. Yes, yes, oh. more of the Kisuke family. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for Boston Bluebee. My name is Swell. Want to follow hey, me on hi. Twitter while we're in between things? My name is it's at, at SwellGGs. And we got Milky J here with me as well. Yo. And if you want, you can. Um, I am on Instagram and Twitter at the Milky J. Yeah. Hit it up. And for now, though, we got both players in here. Going to get up to some work soon. Love yeah. it. Let's get it. Yeah, Noise Tank and Jace. No strangers to Boston Bluebee. No strangers to Guilty Gear. And is uh, Noise Tank playing out of the. Uh, New England scene as well. Do we know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we. I don't know if we have any dizzies out there right now. Uh, there's. I don't. We don't typically have dizzies enter this bracket. Not like they're. Not like it's a no dizzies bracket. <laughs> we just don't usually see them. Dizzy player, but I'm not sure if if uh if uh, New England has a plus R dizzy player. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, apparently we might have one Dizzy in the lower half of the bracket right now. But right now, though, we got this Bridget versus Kai, Jace versus Noise Tank. Let's go. Got that, that color is looking in uh, on that water. Ooh, that, that, that kind of misses the eye. Oh, right? <laughs> I will say that, as, as much as I like that they have so many color varieties in this game, there are some pilot matchups which are really rough. Ooh, that Roger Rush for the combo there, interrupting the escape attempt. Oh, scoring the throw as well. <laughs> Right. Placement. No part of lock on. Cool nice. He uses the Jagged Roger Force Break to track down after that. The Force Break version of Jagged Roger will track towards the opponent. So if you get that lock on on you and then you get the Jagged Roger, you just gotta hang out for a little bit. You ain't doing nothing. Oh, nice! The standing combo with the yo yo set mid combo? Oh, love it! Okay, yeah, Noise Tank is hitting some buttons right like, now. Nah, hold on, hold on. I'm in the oh, corner. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this pressure here. Ooh, nice FRC nice. off of the stun edge there. That's pressure. Okay, first. Mmm. We got charge stun edge there. Ooh, nice 6B counter hit. Okay. Let's see what you got. Mmm. 6A. Oh. Oops. 
Yeah, Bridget does bleed though, so this is easy to get a lot of damage on Bridget if you can get the opening here. Nice, Noise takes scores the conversion there as well. Nice to lay off the second hit of the finger oh, thrust. Noise the kick afterwards. Yo, oh, let's go! Did you like it? Oh no! Oh, Jagged Roger changes the cool tone of that one. Has a meter though. Ah, 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 my heart, got the pressure down in the corner there. Oh. Deep keys to Roger. Oh, oh where's my kill though? No! There's Roger. Damn, Bridget locking it down there. Didn't quite work out for Noise Tank. Noise Tank was putting it together there. Almost able to close it out against Jace, but not quite. And yeah, Noise Tank was uh definitely that second round. They uh mm -hmm. they woke the they woke the hell up. Oh yeah, doing hell of work there. Yeah, if y'all ain't seen Jace play before, Jace is one one of the like the what top one of the best Bridgets in the country easily. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Along with the yeah, Mahoko is like the other uh, Bridget main of uh, note in the country. Might be somebody else out there. Let's think about the FGC too. There might be someone out there that we ain't never seen before who actually is some secret killer with Bridget. Could be, probably not, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me. All right. Yeah, there's another one I'm missing, but it, 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 we're gonna go back to this match. And, uh, no, I want to see what you know, like what uh, what noise taking like use with that information you got from that first, you know, what they got from that first round because yeah, that, uh, that wasn't too bad. It's extremely hard to, to fight up against a Bridget player too before you get used to their momentum. Because like Bridget is such a free form character that it's ex so hard to fight up against before you have some data about how this particular Bridget is going to play. That being said though, I don't think this is the first time that these two have met in bracket. I might be wrong about that one, but I know that Noise Tank and, and Jace have definitely been in the same bracket. Trying to control the space there with that jump D as well. And try to limit the approach options of Bridget. It's pretty smart. Toss back into the jacket watch ball so sick! Pecking in the wrong direction and just getting air thrown again with the, the meaty Roger for the assist. And, uh, Jace is going to be on match point. Noise Tank still, you know, I, I still believe. I, I, I actually still believe, but Jace obviously made the adjustment because that, that first round was a... Uh, it was a long one, but it was pretty clean. And, you know, Jace right now is just trying to evade all of uh, anything that Noise Tank doing. Summon Roger. Oh, air throw. Oh, it is. Dark starts. Yeah, I get, I get the finisher on the kick out my heart to score a knockdown. Probably a little resummon here. Noise Tank has the corner position, but not able to really turn it into anything. And then backs out of the corner to let Jace out. I don't know about that one there. Noise Tank got okay. to make it now. Oh, wow. You know, the, the happy little reset working out for a Noise Tank for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just hit with the load and the walk-up throw afterwards. The walk-the-dog throw. I guess I should say because it's Bridget. <laughs> Oh, Roger doing work and scores a wall bounce. That wall splatted from a wall splat. That happened so far away. Okay, Noise Tank able to score a combo here. Get some big damage. Let's go. Oh, alright. Oh, it's nice to catch. I'm not sure if the JD was trying to catch the air tech. Either way, Matt just closed out with that throw. Yeah, Noise Tank getting a little desperate in the end, especially with that just that that jump in. Oh, I'm gonna jump slash! <laughs> Abandon all hope! But. You know, still not not too too bad of a showing, and um, Jace will move on to the uh, to fight. Mm -hmm. it was, is that is that a qualify? I think that qualifies uh the, our first uh competitor Ooh. in top eight. All right, nicely done to Jace then, getting into top eight. Also, it looks like we do have a couple of dizzy players in the bracket here. At least one goes by the name of Pickles. And we think there's a uh, unhinged as well has a pickles. So oh, sorry, unhinged has a dizzy. Unhinged has a dizzy. Not 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 a, not a pickles. Maybe unhinged likes pickles too. I don't know. But yeah, we have at least two dizzy players out there. I think they're both in the lower half of the bracket though. All right. So next up, we're gonna have a uh, Druce in digital watches. Yo, that should be sick. Okay, so that's gonna be Abba versus Axel. Hell yeah. Battle of the A. <laughs> Battle of the A. A. We in the A. <laughs> Alright, yeah, looks like Unhinged Man is still in the bracket, so we might see um, a Dizzy on stream for whoever was asking about that earlier. And then Pickles is out of the bracket, so no no more Dizzy from Pickles, but Unhinged Man may be showing up with one. Pixel, uh, pick, uh, pixels. Pickles <laughs> is, the, uh, is the person I was thinking of, because I know they play uh, Raven, or what's his name, and Dizzy in x -er. Gotcha, I know okay. Play, uh, for now, though, we got Axel versus Abba going on here. Abba, very, as I said before, feast or famine. Axel, gonna want to try to find a way to lead a knockdown and figure things out here. Let's see how it goes. Wow. 
<laughs> reading the book before she getting uh getting the uh, Axel's uh <laughs> <laughs> sending him sending it before she sends him to the uh, to the life of the yeah. yeah. Well, I know she got she got those uh those anarcho communist colors. She's reading a book on theory. <laughs> Axel eat the knockdown there, there's a key grab. Ooh. Nice burst. Trying to get up and around here, shooting with those sickles. Oh, faints the rush out. Nice. Tries to get something off of the 6H there, doesn't catch anything out of it. Both sides getting a lot of room here. Not able to turn anything into Queen Confirms. Alright, there we go, got the ground slide. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, Bruce has 100 meter now, yeah, go. Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh, that was sick! Whoa! Oh, oh! Gets the scoop. Okay, able oh. to stabilize this. Got a little, got a little messy there for a moment, but Drews was able to turn oh. that around. I don't know if that was intentional or not. It looks sick. It did the right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's rough. Gets the grab into the key grab. Got got Maroha activated now. Gonna be very scary. Doesn't have enough meter for the Goku Maroha to activate though. So like, really, this is when uh, when Digital Watches has to make the move in too. Nice with Axel Bomber. I think it hurt right now if he's bumped. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! And he's definitely playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they definitely play each other. When, you, when, you're, when you're making decisions like that, that fast. Oh. Yeah, like. Oh. There's the downside. Gonna get the corner carry here. You're getting whopped. Oh, he can't kill off of that. She can't kill off of that. Okay, there it is. So, another thing here with Abba, so that's one round apiece. Another thing here with Abba, for anybody who is new to this character, a lot of her moves will drain her health while she's in her Moroha mode, so that's why her health seems to get really low really quick. Yeah, right now, you can see during the combo, some of her health is going down. Uh, and then she restores that health if she can deactivate Moroha with the key grab or the blood pack. Moroha being the red meter above her attention. Uh, but Ooh, right now, though, uh, she's like the... The Abba play is going for the keys and stuff so often. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this damage. Got the loop here. Ooh, scores the flip is unblockable. It's like, I believe in equivalent exchange. Like, give my life. <laughs> oh, tries to go for the cheeky right shall full screen. Doesn't quite work out for digital watches, though. And Drews takes that. Drews taking game over digital watches? Ooh. Not, not looking pretty equal with that bop over the head with those uh, big-ass keys. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, girl walks in with a big ass key. <laughs> key with the with the with the with the stitches on his mouth. It's like, bro, what, what, what kind of cosplay is this, son? <laughs> Yo, damn, I want to see that cosplay couple now. Someone shows up as Abba. Show, someone shows up in a giant key outfit. <laughs> no, I don't. Never mind. Come back to the match. I don't want to see that. <laughs> nice fresh shout there. I'm on far away. Oh. I know. I feel so dumb every time I get hit by it, <laughs> just because it usually has a lot of startup. It's still, it's really good. I just feel like an idiot when I get hit by it. Maroha almost drained here though. Digital Watches only needs one more knockdown to score something here. Ah, I use the Goku Maroha activate to restore the install. Oh, oh. oh the flying object! <laughs> Doesn't get anything out of it though. Oh, nice! There's the Goku Maroha for the combo. Oh, pushing all the way back here. Look at that damage! Oh, the dead. Almost. Yeah. Oh. Really. Okay. Oh, oh just watch it again for the dust there. Oh, oh not quite closer. Oh, again, an unidentified flying piece of chicken and an object in the pan. Oh, no. The grease got too hot and it popped. This grease is popping. Juice All is, right. Uh, Juice is trying to get some, uh, some warm cooked chicken right now. Mm-hmm. All right. And you push back here. Oh wow, really scores the jump in just like that? Yeah, that was that was a straight swan job into your face. Right, and versus an axle too. Like I'm used to like never being able to jump oh, in. Ooh, ooh, that counter hit pick up is ooh. Yo, Drews is showing up here too. Cause like I, I digital watch is no slouch folks, so that the fact that Drews is doing this right now and putting in work should speak to Drews' capability. Don't do it! Oh. That's it right there. The oh. Drews is loose. The Drews. With no goose. Oh, we need no goose, man. <laughs> All right, Drews takes it over Digital Watches. Digital Watches is sent to the lower half of the bracket. I'm, I'm surprised. I, I, I don't. How, how's Drews' like usual like tournament performance? Would, would we call this an upset? Uh. Between these two, no. I would okay. definitely not call this an upset at all. It, gotcha. it could have went either way. Okay. Um, okay. So, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll actually throw in a bit of a, um, you know, for those that didn't know, but when, um. 
Drews actually showed up to uh, Magnum Opera and teamed up with Kizzy, with Kizzy mm -hmm. K. I think uh, I think Drews was handpicked by Kizzy themselves. So uh, so yeah, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> Honestly, when when I heard that, I was like, wait, Drew Loki? What? I was like, one. They're alive. I thought they honestly entirely stopped playing. And two, I was like, "How the hell does Kizzy know?" Like, you know, <laughs> like, I, I guess you know it's, it's Kizzy K, right? So I shouldn't be surprised. But you know, when I when I just it was just like, man, these are two different generations in my mind. You know, like yeah, there should be no connective up. tissue. And somehow <laughs> we have it right here. So yeah. you know, it is great, and we get to see uh you know Juice go on to the uh to the other side of Winter Top Eight and. I think we're gonna have All a right. qualifying match coming up. Uh, Ooh, I want to say, yeah, I'm not sure if we know who we have coming up next. Coming up next just yet, but while we're waiting to have that call though, uh, y'all should hit that match arena. We're at 197.60 right now, and we've been sitting at 197 for a while. And I know if everybody in here just went there and hit up that match arena code, we can get that over 200. 200 is a nice round number. I mean, it'd be cool if we went over, went even higher than that. But y'all can, y'all can get in there to that match arena and contribute it. It's free. You can just sign in with your Twitter account, so you ain't even got to make a new account to do so. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now because I'm realizing I haven't done it, and here I am telling people to do it. Damn. <laughs> I'm whack. What a better <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're gonna we're gonna hold off here for a moment on our next matches here, and we're gonna have a small break while we try to have some matches catch up. So this is a perfect opportunity to hit up that coupon code in the match arena. So please do so and uh, hype up the stream to, to anybody else too, because this is a hell of a bracket here, and we're gonna have some good matches coming up. And I think that's it for now until we go to commercial. Anything else from you, Milky? Uh, just the call. The code you all want to use is a uh, blue beat. Midnight C. That's all together. Blue beat. Midnight spelled the regular way. And that's C as in Charles. <laughs> <laughs> C as in Charles and C as in commercial. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs>
Hey there, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us on Boston Blue Beat. My name is Swell. I'm here with Milky J, and we are going to have another match coming up here for you in just a moment. And it should be Mini Matt versus Drews coming up here once we get this rolling. And whew, this has been an exciting tournament so far, Milky. Oh, yeah, it definitely has. Uh, so I'm not sure if anyone's been following but uh, or been able to see the bracket, but uh, we had uh, A3 Religion versus uh, Mini Matt uh, happen off stream. And Mini Matt. Uh, went 2-0 over A through religion so yeah. uh, that that's very uh that was very surprising to me i not you know n not to discredit anybody or anything like that but i thought you know i i kind of figured i was like that match is going to be close but mm -hmm. you know it, 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 for all for all we know it probably was close even though it was a 2-0 but you know good stuff to mini map for uh, i would mm -hmm. say causing an upset against uh one of the the high, you know, Mini Matt being a, probably a, one of the higher seed players themselves, and this mm -hmm. uh, actually are, yeah, one of the higher seed players themselves beating the one of the top two seeds. Wow! So that's congratulations yeah, to you, Mini Matt. You know, like uh, causing havoc in the brackets. Yeah, right. I love to see it. And we got Mini Matt and Drews here now. All right. I think I'm. I'm pretty sure Mini Matt's still rocking. I want to say Mini Matt's rocking Cliff. Oh. Fingers crossed. Is it Cliff or Robo Kai? I thought they played both. They. Might play both? I'm pretty sure last I saw was Cliff, but we'll see. Yeah! There, there is Mr. Underson. That is Cliff, okay. Alright, let's go. We got Cliff versus Abba here. Cliff is a little bit of a, of a, of a peculiar character. Uh, puts a lot of hitboxes on the screen. Or rather, uh, has very large hitboxes that he can put on the screen relative to his size. His body size, though, does make some stuff combo on him kind of weird. Um, and now let's see what Drews can do with it, though. I like how Cliff on that intro, he's kind of like, he's, he's the opposite of the diva of the, the Dudley brothers. Instead of, instead of getting the table, he's like, I'm the table. I'm an old man and I'm hungry. I need some oats and some coffee right now. <laughs> Ooh, but instead he gets this key grab, though. No, it's a new coffee. There's a taunt. Oh, the taunt is well. Oh, that trash. Shut up, get out of hell, in my soul, in my big dragon slayer. <laughs> gets up and out of the corner, able to move over Drews there. And Drews has lost a lot of health just from the uh, Moroha activation. He's gonna have to try to find- Ooh, there's the Goku Moroha activation. Restores that health. Tons of damage here. Ooh, that's it. That's it. Blows Cliff up. Cliff is a featherweight too, so some has kind of a lot of combo specifics that work on him that don't work on others. A little unfortunate for Cliff. It's yeah, hard to say. The way Juice has been jumping in with jump heavy, they're they are making that uh that normal look like a Doctor Doom Cliff dog a little bit. Yo, right? I, mean, I, mean, I, I looked at it and it's got the same uh, hitboxes as a uh, Nova in Marvel Three, uh, the Nova's Dolphin Kick. It's got a very similar hitbox placement to it. Or oh, that move is ignorant. <laughs> oh, ignorant as hell, and I play Nova, so I know what I'm talking about. Right now, oh, no, no. Juice trying to show oh. how much they know. Ooh, I'm taking Mini Mad to school. Damn! Wow, Juice is Juice definitely wants that top four spot right now. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Nothing standing in my way. I am coming for this. <laughs> But Mini Man, you know, uh, you know, Mini Man has been playing for a while, and you know, Mini Man is definitely my people. So I want to see him, um, you know. Oh yeah, let's go, Matt. Let's go, Mini Man. And, and we mentioned this before. We mentioned this before too. Abba, is such a volatile character, can can swing either way really hard. So this is not undoable for Mini Man whatsoever. Young Cliff there though, with those uncomfortably toned thighs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's that key grab. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. Go for the, uh, go for the spot dodge with the chop, the chop over. Oh, that could have been bad, but you know what? Mini Man getting away with it, diving away. Oh, and Juice trying to get it confirmed. Get that jump in. And that picked up, though. And oh, again, like the combo. Lock it in the corner. You hate to see it. Oh, the my God. Oh, that's going to be that's, Yeah, that's a dizzy right there. That'll be an easy kill. I think Mini Man needs to run away. Like, run away from Juice as far as possible. Don't even try to, like, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, there's a sleep. Yeah, that's what you need. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you see that and you're like, what the hell is that? Cliff has a Cliff's respect. Oh, his taunt will put oh, out the uh, trash talk, and the trash talk has a hitbox on it. So, yeah. Ooh, nice. Catches with the anti air, able to grab with the key grab. Oh, nice. Hits with taunt. Oh, he has a big life lead on Abba right now. Cliff can. Oh, no. Oh, that. If that Force Break uh, Dragon would have hit, that would have killed uh, Abba, and then that would have been the round there. That was so close to closing it out. Scores with the throw, able to make it happen. Hey, yo, let's go, son. Yeah, Mini Matt, let's go. Oh! 
Spin it to drill it. Oh, oh he's moving now. Let's go. Oh, Here's the head. That good. Yeah, the cliff dust is indistinguishable from just him going into a crouch animation. It is extremely hard to react. First time, oh, you first, you did such a good job not bursting the first time. Oh, the shot. Get out of my face, woman. Take this key with in your blood. Oh, meaty disc. Trying to stay on top of things here. Catches with the wiggles. Clean and then pop whips out. Okay, trying to stay above things. Okay, has. Mm, this is really unfortunate. No burst available either for me. Oh, that is crucial. Oh, really? This is falling from the sky. Has Hella Meter on deck here. Has some options to try to stay on the Oh, 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 Guy just with the jump, JH there. That JH from Cliff. Oh, no. The FRC on the Nape saddle. Oh, no. It's just a Nape. It ain't the Nape saddle. Stopped it halfway through. There's the Taunt OP out on the screen. It's not OP. It's just out there on the screen. Hanging out. Follows up behind there. Oh. I'm a letter back. In the <laughs> oh, nice block from Mini Man. This is so scary. Oh, that risky oh, stream is so high. Oh, we got it. We got it. Double KO. Oh, double KO. Oh, 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 that was so sick. Oh, Let's go. Oh, I would have went nuts. Oh, I would have. <laughs> oh, let's go! Oh, oh, big God. damage here. Oh. oh no, not able to get the extension out of here. Ooh, Ooh Minimap with a nice pickup. Oh, a chop! A nice. Target. Is the FRC ah. got the egg for the extension oh. here? Gonna be able to convene this combo here. Oh. Gonna give you an egg oh. in this trying time. Oh, oh. this okay. Oh, slide in! Key grab. Oh boy, okay. Oh no, no. bad first I do up by the dog's eye. Oh, you are mashing too, you are not blocking. Oh, trying to get a. This uh, is really hard. Go oh, control, activate, close it up there. That's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. and Druce is gonna submit oh. their spot in the uh, in the midnight carnival just like that with a with a 2 over mini mat. Congratulations to you, Druce. Uh, we'll see you definitely soon. But you know, and you're going in the winners finals in this bracket. Mm -hmm. Looking nice. Uh, mini mat still not out of it though. Going to uh, the going to lose the side. So. Damn, that's really rough for, for Mini Matt there, but still alive, still alive, and Mini Matt, as we saw, doing some work there. <gasps> Yo, can we possibly, will we, we could see the run back of Mini Matt and A3R in the lower half of the bracket. Please, please, we need to see, oh my god, okay, I am, I would have I'm to have to be I just wanted, I just, it's gonna be a really good match, oh my goodness. Okay, if that happens though, that would have to be in loser's semis though, so it's gonna be a little bit, but that might happen. Ugh. Yeah, yo, also Skeletal, the double KO that happened was when it was one round a piece two, so it actually went to a round four, which is so sick. Oh, Video man. Cool. Okay, oh, we got Ray okay, we got Raekwon going up against Isaac J7. Yo, did I lose to Isaac J7? I feel like I fought Isaac at some point in a bracket. Is, is this Undernight Isaac? Uh... Yeah, that's how I know Isaac. Yeah, 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 yeah. 90% sure I fought this player in Undernight before. I wild boys, Isaac! Yo! <laughs> Yo, let's go! Oh, oh, oh. I think, I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope it- Can someone confirm if this is- If this is Hyde- If this is Hyde, uh, Isaac? Houston player. Houston? Okay. okay. Uh, a different one? Okay, alright. Oh, okay, right. okay. <laughs> I, 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 I like going nuts. I was like, yo, we about, I'm about to go ham hot. <laughs> I, I can feel you like just like destroying the room that you're in from across the screen <laughs> at that one. Like starting up. <laughs> just like grabbing the pillow cushion. Ah! <laughs> Speaking of, let me go and grab that real quick. I need to put something on my tushy. Mm -hmm. Yo, I got a pillow. Yo, man, let me tell you this right now. Living in this pandemic world right now, I've been sitting in this office chair so damn much. I gone, I've gone through like three pillows trying to make sure that my ass ain't sore after sitting in this chair for so long playing games. The real answer is I should get a I should get a better chair. If anybody wants to sponsor me, I'll put your chair over on stream. Talk about how, how nice it makes my rear end feel. But for now, try to make that Matcherino feel a little bit nicer. <laughs> put that coupon code. We got over 225 during the break. Nice job, everybody. Midnight C is the code, y'all. Blue B. Midnight C. Charles. Charles. Damn, I had to segue away from that one. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Coming up next, though, we got Raekwon going up against Isaac J7. Isaac J going to be rocking a Bridget, it looks like. And Raekwon, an OG, coming out, uh, showed up a couple weeks back and was doing some work. And made it to top eight multiple times, made it to winter finals. I believe sent, um, did Raekwon send Elven Shadow to losers? I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Frankentank sent Elven Shadow to losers, so you know uh, 
Raekwon's got some... Got the skills to pay the bills. But for now, though, let's see how it goes with Isaac J and Raekwon. Well, this is actually really tough because if Bridge decides just to run away with the life lead, there's not a whole lot that the temp can do. So, uh, unless you get scooped like this in the, yeah. the first uh, 20 seconds, and now you're, you're, your life is bleeding. Oh, you're dead. Just like Ooh. this. Don't that, burst. That might be it. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. That, that is it. That is actually yeah. it. <laughs> that is actually it. <laughs> Damn. So, uh, like uh, so Isaac J has a bit of experience playing other uh, Potemkin players, so hmm. we'll, we'll see how this goes. But Isaac J is fighting a a mofo legend, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't this ain't this ain't just uh, you need Potemkin experience. This is you need Raekwon experience. Yeah. You've been to SBO for Guilty Gear. <laughs> <laughs> You've been to Super Battle Opera. <laughs> I love this color on Bridget, though. I gotta say that that uh, bright green yo-yo is really nice. That's a good shade of green. Yeah, yeah. That's a really right. good up. Ooh, nice up. Uh, oh, no. Nice up back from Yeah, but do a move. Okay. Yeah, yeah, getting a burst from Raekwon. That's okay. okay. Overhead. Own it. Oh, there's a hit field. Oh, he's right after. Oh, he ping again. Yeah, I just getting more um, getting more comfortable after that first round. You know. I don't know why. I I don't know if Isaac needs to go in though. Like Isaac's got the life. Lead. Isaac can play way more patient here. I'm not saying you gotta just try to run away the whole time, but but determine the angle of engagement. You ain't just gotta go in. You know what I've noticed about the bridge players sometimes? Um, mm -hmm. I've seen a whole go do it too. Um, and, 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 oh yeah, yeah, that's it. And you can't do that against against Potemkin though, because Potemkin's nope. a tank, and you, you know. But they they'll like they'll run away for a while, and then like I don't know, maybe it depends on how a round goes. But I feel like they feel like they have to assert their dominance. You know, like they're like yo, like. I don't like how that went. I'm running away right now. Let me let me put like let me put let me put Roger in their face, yo. Let me, yeah. let me try to mix them up real quick. And yeah, let, let me make sure that, that they respect the bear. Yeah, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. And Raekwon gonna take that first game. Uh, Isaac J was looking very uh very good in that second mm -hmm. round though. So <laughs> yeah, and like and it's when I say run away too, I don't necessarily just mean like run away for the entire duration of the clock, but just get into a situation where you control the angle of approach and, and how the engagement's gonna go. Because also, why are you gonna put yourself in the one spot wow, where the temp yeah, is at advantage? Yeah. You, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna be close to grappling. Like, that's just, that's just common, yeah. that's just common, like, cool. Don't, like, if you can avoid oh, the oh, 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 Lord. Oh, that Damn. one hurts. Damn. Oh, get oh, this bear out of here. Flick my bear. Out of here. Flick your bear. Yo, Breaking I, open. I like watching Potemkin's hair come uh, when he does the hyper, uh, Heavenly Potemkin Buster, or Hyper Potemkin Buster, I forget which one it is in this game. But like, uh, you can see like his ponytail flying up in the background there, I like it, I like it. I don't think, I don't think Isaac likes it though, they been holding too many of those already. Ooh, nice combo off the uh, Roger Rush. We got, uh, we got Battle of the Isaacs right now, and uh, Raekwon is looking to set this, oh, okay, Ooh. nice, nice, nice. Oh! Alright, you know, that wasn't a bad burst from Isaac J. Especially um, doing it after noticing that Raekwon um, Roman cancel. Ooh, oh, good read on Raekwon, oh. though. What's Raekwon gonna do here? Goes to the, the butt mix. Yeah, yeah, Isaac's staying a little too close to Raekwon. You don't want to stay. That's gonna do it. Yeah. This should be. Oh, oh gets up the blue. Nice, okay. Oh, it's the block on the. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, kicks out my heart into the follow up. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Oh. Oh. Get around, get around. Get around. Get around. Okay. Get around. No, ooh, why are you in the air? Oh, oh no! Unfortunate. Doesn't work out for Isaac, and Raekwon takes it. No shame there, though. Like we were saying, Raekwon is a beast. So this is just how it goes sometimes. But Raekwon will be advancing into top eight. Oh, and uh, Raekwon's Raekwon gonna. Stays. I think Raekwon stays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I said. Raekwon advances. Yeah. Yeah. Isaac, come back. Not Isaac J. Other Isaac. <laughs> oh, oh, is, is Raekwon's name Isaac as well? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I didn't, okay, I just I got that. Eyes it. <laughs> I just got that, I feel like I did. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Why only build me on the lore? But now, Raekwon's gonna have to go up against another Bridget with Jace. Yes. Also, I gotta, I gotta say too, sorry, I always gotta shout out when the cool palette things show up. That color, that palette of Bridget looked like Bridget had green lipstick on. I wanna find out where Bridget got that green lipstick, cause that looked fly. I actually like that uh, that palette of Bridget very much as well. Uh, I, I yeah. haven't really seen it too much. And the green, the green is uh, pretty cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, and also too, we, like people are like keep commenting about how how strong this bracket looks tonight, and how strong brackets and guilty gear are in general. This is the power of rollback. <laughs> yeah. It's actually it's actually it's actually insane. Like I never thought I'd hear I'd say SBO and rollback within the same hour, but yet here we are. Right? You know? Yeah, like 
because like these are the kind of tournament ca- these are the caliber of players that would have been all in the same place playing like you know real real matches that are good competitive matches like w- twice a year maybe maybe yeah and now this is happening yeah, like three problems. times a week <sighs> yeah this is a good time to be uh especially if you're in a plus r we are uh I'll, I'll say it. We're, we're a little spoiled right now with all, oh, with all yeah. these matches and stuff. So, but it's good though for everyone else because you know we, you know every the competitors get better. You know everyone drives everyone, and you know mm-hmm. we all you know, get the link up, chat and play and stuff. So you know we're gonna go into this match though, Raekwon Versus against Jace. Uh, Jace. So this is a this is a this is a, this is a regional battle, and you know again, I like Jace a lot. Cool, but yo, I'm I'm from the southeast. Yo, let's go, let's go, Isaac. Let's go. Let's that ass. Like. <laughs> All right, so we got. So let's see how Jace here approaches this differently from how Isaac, from how Isaac Jace had it. So like already, you can see Jace being a little more patient, being uh, willing to stay a little bit further away, and then trying to approach in as the angle is controlled by Roger. There, this is what I was saying, where Bridget players have a lot of room for expression and creativity with how they want to approach their matches. Like Jagged Roger there, hanging out after the slide head, so Potemkin couldn't try to advance in past it. That's mm, very smart. And you could tell, I felt like Raekwon was trying to look for a position to possibly flick the, uh, the Roger, but just, you know, it's not really worth it, you know, trying to take that risk so early in the first game, in the first, you know, first round especially. First break Roger, nice. Okay, dead angle from uh, Raekwon. Yeah, Jace is uh, definitely doing what uh, what Isaac J was doing, you know, a bit, getting that life lead, but Jace is definitely playing more disciplined and um, mm-hmm. more... Uh, yeah. Killing, killing Be, being right willing to, to only take the pressure when Roger is somehow protecting and then backing off. Like the like see how see how less committal the options are from Jace versus the options that Isaac J7 was going for with Bridget. Like it, it's just these like itty bitty pokes goes in, fishes with a button a couple times, gets out. Fishes with a button a couple times, gets out. Sets with Roger, gets out. Oh nice flick from Ray Kwan. Really good. Confirmed, but yeah, Jace is, oh, oh, this is scary. Try to try to back. Hopefully not first. I, I, I said, oh, just they take from the match. Oh, that's the life lead, though. Lord, no, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's, oh, it. Yeah, that's, that's it. actually game. That's it. Yeah, that was it. Yo, yo, Raekwon. Yo, let's go, Isaac. Ah, Raekwon. The South gonna hold it down. The South gonna hold it down. <laughs> Raekwon extending that combo so that didn't it didn't even need to kill. Just had to hold the life lead long enough. I don't know if and like Raekwon's been playing long enough that like I gotta think that dragging out that combo for the longest just like time duration as possible was intentional. It was really Jace, smart. And Jace not uh, summoning Roger with the yo-yo, as you could tell that Raekwon was looking for that flip punish, but uh Jace getting the hook out of that whip punish, you know. Ooh! Force break jagged Roger tries to get some momentum out of it, but not able to get up there to get the confirm for the knockdown, and unfortunately gets oh. left in a bad spot and scooped for the potential buster. Oh yeah, yeah, Jace, yeah, yeah. Good, good call, Jace. Don't even, don't even joke around. Oh, just because Uh-oh. this didn't happen. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get back. Yes, yes. You got so much meter and so much life. You better nice. match the button. Me and my killing machine. <laughs> oh, break card. Put your back in the. Oh, that's yes. it. That's it. That's it. Actually, oh my then. lord. Break oh. card, please. The chef cooking up a meal. <laughs> Damn! Oh, that is. oh boy! Woo. Order up! Life bar down! Wasted! The commentary bias here is wild. <laughs> you said my bias? <laughs> yo, man, this is one of my elders, yo, and we are, this is this is a qualifier for the midnight carnival. I'm not, you know, it's all it's no it's no hate, it's all love. I'm ch- I'm trying to see yo, cause I I go yo I go to Bama, you know what I'm saying? See the homies and stuff like that. But you know, Jace going to game two. <laughs> All right, so going to game two. Okay, so yeah, we. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that fail. Oh, that burst. Almost, almost the worst burst. Wait, wait, wait. So, so this is just game two? Sorry, these matches have been going on so long because there's so. Yeah. Oh, God, this feels like forever, which is sick, though. I'm glad we're getting good Guilty Gear, but I'm losing all track of time here. Oh, Potemkin Buster losing all track of your life bar. It's gone. Uh, Bridget, you're back. Oh, please. You're dead. Please. You're dead, kid. Please. You're dead. Oh. Raekwon is looking to uh, get into this carnival with the with the quickness, too. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, man, okay. point right now. Jace has been showing the... You know, and this is what's really hard to is that you spend so much time trying to run this keep out game, it's mentally exhausting, and then when it doesn't work out, it's it's so hard. Cause like it was working, it almost worked out perfectly. 
with just these itty bitty mistakes, and then Raekwon was able to capitalize on it. And like, I don't know if Jace should actually deviate from the plan though. It's just these little tiny moments where it's not going right. Nice starship there. They should definitely not deviate from the plan, but it's just it's just oh, difficult no. because this is just the nature of a matchup like this, you know, mm -hmm. an extreme kind of zoner kind of type, and a grappler who could just mm -hmm. Ooh, just like that. Like One more this. touch. That's oh. It. In the count oh, and Raekwon gonna uh, qualify oh, for the uh, Midnight Carnival just like that, and we'll go into winners finals against uh, Let's go against Juice. Yeah, nice. Raekwon versus Drews in Winter's Finals. And if and yeah, we've been talking about this Midnight Carnival. If you're just tuning in, Midnight Carnival is effectively going to be a Guilty Gear Plus R Major online, which is having uh, top four top four placers in uh, a number of different tournaments will qualify for it. And right now, we got two of those already determined with Drews and Raekwon. But uh, the rest of the rest of these uh, warriors and competitors, they are definitely uh, mm -hmm. they they. Even if they don't get in the top four, I think, you know, just for their competitiveness, they, they want to, um, you know. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to show up. Oh, so so I just I just see that uh, Raekwon and Jace are playing in the other bracket. <laughs> <laughs> so, got to put that back there. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. what's that called? Uh, the Havoc tournament. So. Yeah, Digital Havoc. Um, yeah, Digital Havoc. All right, so who we got coming up next? Um... Yeah, so uh, we'll have our next match here getting lined up for you in just a moment, and if you haven't already, I know I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna keep on harping on it, but I got a fill there, so I'm gonna keep on harping on it. Hit up that match, Reno. Code is Boston Blue Beat Midnight C. It's right there in the chat too. Have that for you, and I think we have the bracket up on the challenge as well. If you want to peep that out, the bracket is uh, pretty solidified at this point, at least on the winner side. We only got Drews and Raekwon. In the lower half of the bracket, we got Isaac J7. The uh, first Bridget we saw a minute ago, going up against Nuclear Cheese, one of the New England regulars, um, rocking that soul. We got A3R, uh, gonna, gonna go up against Strawberry Eclair, which I think I saw Strawberry Eclair pop off in chat a little earlier, but I can't say I know who Strawberry Eclair plays. They play Kai. They, um, Kai player. They, I actually know Strawberry from uh, from Exert. I think they start, they start off in Exert, Kai. You know, you know, okay. Making a transition to this. Ooh, nice. oh, oh. Yeah, so Strawberry Claire is going to be going to be fighting up against A3R. Winner of that will get digital watches. Winner of that gets Jace. All these matches are crazy. Oh man! Right. All right, and then A3R, and then Isaac J7 and Nuclear Cheese. Winner of that gets Tails, the Anji that we saw that we saw on stream earlier. Uh, they were showing up really strong with that Anji, so I'll have to see how that goes. And the winner of that between Tails and the winner of Isaac J7 and Nuclear Cheese gets Mini Mat. So if if we are going to see the mini mat A3R run back, A3R has got to win their next three matches, which is no small order whatsoever, because that's Digital Watches, Jace, and Strawberry Claire right here. And then mini mat will need to win one match. And if that happens, we get the mini mat A3R run back. So and we'll I'll see. tell you, and I'll tell you something. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little biased too, and there's no this. So West Coast or anything or nobody, but I definitely believe in A3R making it back to <laughs> to fight many because A3 definitely has that that uh that drive and that clutch. So mm, I see, I see. <laughs> I, I'm 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 being a you know, but it, A A3 is definitely definitely ready to uh, ready to fight mini man on some uh you know some competitive stuff. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So A3 is definitely bringing the fire and wanting to you know along with all these other competitors you know. Just get that spot in the Midnight Carnival now, so they ain't even mm -hmm. got to think about it. They can just worry about, you know, refining their gameplay in a specific, uh, you know, specific player matchups. Because yeah. with, and that's the beauty about things like Invitationals, right? So people don't, I, I always feel like, well, not people, but might not be talked about often, but in a uh, in a closed format, you know, you, that's more Tom. You know, you. yeah, yeah, you, you, you know who to expect. So you know you can you can go and watch that footage, go into training mode, especially with mm -hmm. this game's training mode now, literally you know situations so the level of play is going to be even crazier but right now we got a uh, strawberry clear kai versus a3 religion zappa yeah a3 yeah and zappa we saw a little bit on stream earlier kai we all know well oh, let's go new york <laughs> let's go so, um, strawberry with an early burst right. oh dp Oh, gold burst from A3R. All 
Alright, Ifrit's just uh, using the ghost. Try to keep the zoning, keep that life lead. Sorry about that, had a little internet blip. I'm back here now. Sorry to leave you hanging, Milky. Nice block on the greed sever. Are oh, you good? You good? I thought I was. I thought I was uh, going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I'm in this talk. You know, Atri is letting the dogs out right now. And Strawberry is getting mm -hmm. just. Oh God! Look, 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 at, look at Kai's hand. Just look at Kai's hand when they're getting attacked by them. Ah! Oh, oh, get off me! Oh. Please. And yeah, no, no biscuit. Please. <laughs> All right, we got that dead angle there. Get some, some of the pressure here. All right, APR ghosts up again. Got the dog on hand here. Got a couple of spears for Rao, but probably going to be game over before Rao becomes a factor here. Nice, Strawberry Claire scores a throw there. Gets rid of the ghost as well. Ooh, nice okay. FRC. Mm -hmm. Dog once more. A3 is very uh, on point. Been noticing gaps within strings and getting that uh, yeah seat and right there. Just if you can't you can't do any of that like muscle memory kind of twitchy kind of like oh I'm gonna do this here or like I'm gonna go into my string. Now A3R is definitely gonna. Oh my good. Ooh. Yo, yo, yeah. come on, chill. Come on, please chill. All right, oh. trying to run up here. As the pressure mid screen, oh, nice. Was a touch after paper quest. No, 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 no. Oh God. Oh, a bot is taking an um. Mm -hmm. Oh, taking strawberry to the up. This is oh, so scary block. now. Oh, good block. Oh, never mind. You can only block for so long. Look at get this. Get away from it. Oh. And this is that's the one thing about Sword is if you can get away from the Sword, uh, sometimes Zappa can have trouble. Sometimes Zappa players seem to have trouble repositioning once you're uh, out and away from the Sword. Uh, however, once that Sword is out and once that Sword is on top of you, it is so scary. Charge stunned, able to just let the Sword pressure. Lucky. Oh, burst on your green sever. Don't ever, don't ever do that again. <laughs> oh my God. That was the hardest. Like, I can't even call it a call out. It was just like. Knowing and just like yeah, I'm gonna get this meter and I'm just gonna make you feel yeah. Right now, H3's kind of just biding time at this point. Yeah, yeah. Strawberry, it, and it's not like it was completely impossible, but 33 seconds, less than 50 tension. That's that's, that's rough to you know try to bring it back from it. But you know, A3 is gonna go on the first game. Yeah, A3R, maybe make, make this happen here. I'm so sorry if I drop in and out here, folks. Internet is having a rough time here, so I'll do what I can to try to stay with you. You Gucci swell, we got you, we got you. Alright, so game two, um, you know, Strawberry definitely not, um, unfamiliar mm -hmm. with Guilty Gear at all. I'm not oh, sure about Strawberry's yeah, personal yeah, Zap yeah, experience. It's, you know, on, especially on a level like, uh, mm -hmm. like A3 Religion, so... Yeah, and like, it's, when someone's been playing the game for this long as well, and you're playing a character like Kai, not to, not to undersell Kai at all, but Kai's fairly honest in a lot of ways in this game, um, in terms of not really busting out a lot of weird things on you, that you might not have seen, or, uh, like, very unfair pressure, or anything like that, so you gotta do a lot of work with, uh, Kai when you're up against somebody who is very, very well first in this game, in my opinion. Yeah, no, Kai is, um, you know, uh, so the thing with characters like Kai and Soul, you know, like, those, those, I would say, like, introducing to the game type of characters, they are very, you know, strong, but when at the high level, that's why it's really, it's extremely difficult to, difficult to compete with those characters, because everyone in a, in a, uh, in a mama know, they, uh, their basic strength yeah, in this yeah. school, so, like, you know, it's good luck opening somebody up with, uh, you know, with this stuff. You have to just be that much of a more knowledgeable player and better at yeah. Be on your on your P's and Q's, but it's not yeah. impossible for a uh, for a person like uh, Strawberry. They definitely yeah. uh, know some of the highest level play in the world. Oh yeah, Strawberry's still still looking pretty strong here. Like Strawberry, Strawberry's not getting completely shut out by A3R here by any stretch. And A3R is a very strong player. Oh, so, I don't know nice. if you noticed, but uh, when Strawberry jumped in that time, uh, they changed the uh, instead of jumping in with a normal, they actually dashed back and mm. um, you know got. A3 to whip their centipede. Even though you know A3 took that round, it's still a good. Sh it, it's it's a good sign from uh, Strawberry because that shows that they are you know paying attention to what's being done. Okay, nice uh jump starter. Ooh, oh no, not the drop. All right, the media block. Goes for the sun if it doesn't work out though. Unfortunate. Charge stun edge out on the field. Score some blocks down here. Able to pick up a grab afterwards. Nice. Okay. Is that JD mix? I like it. FRC's out. Charge on it once more. Just trying to control things here and not let A3R get any kind of momentum up, which I like. If you're fine, this, this is how you want your round to go. Because, you know, you just want to keep that constant pressure. Oh, nice. In a pickup? Wow, that was far as hell. 
Yeah, I'm very surprised that that worked out for Strawberry and Claire, but big ups to them for doing it. Very clean FRCs too, just to keep up the pressure with the stunage in the corner. Put, yo, put that sword back in your pocket, Ahmad. What are you doing? Uh, it's, it's called a sheep, Milky, please. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yo, right the sword. Don't, 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 don't be a case, Strawberry. Oh, no. Strawberry, please. Come on, get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, oh, strawberry oh, getting oh, blended oh. right into a smoothie. Oh, no, not the bird. Oh. Well, oh. Hatsu, though, already up around. Needs to burst. Did you know there? Oh. No, scores a grab. Oh, get it. Oh, oh man. An That's what going to take with. that off. Uh, well, Strawberry Claire tried to try tried tough there, didn't work out, and uh, yeah, A3R was able to take it. Yeah, thanks for playing, Strawberry. But you know, it's it's but a good showing tonight, regardless. And because like making it this far in this in this uh in this extremely uh in this extremely stiff bracket is mm -hmm. uh you know that's it's a testament to itself. And there is no uh you know uh a legend like A3 religion there's no shame at all and you know going out to a person like that and so uh a3 won uh one third of the way of getting that potential uh dream run back of this bracket and so they'll you know they'll fight off against digital watches next but i think we're gonna have isaac a and nuclear cheese coming up Let's yeah see. hell yeah so yeah nuclear cheese haven't seen on stream just yet today but nuclear cheese usually shows up and uh puts in some work for all these boston blue beats so it, it would not surprise me to see nuclear cheese like there's a lot of strong players here, but it would not surprise me if Nuclear Cheese, which we, we haven't seen on stream yet, was able to make this whole run back and get up into one of those qualifying spots. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's let's oh, check yeah. uh, Nuclear Cheese path to uh to where they're at so far. Have um, to go through Isaac J7, then would have to go through Tails. Nuclear Cheese and Tails fight a bit. I'm pretty sure Nuclear Cheese usually comes out on top in that, but Tails has absolutely taken sets off Nuclear Cheese before, so it's not out of the realm that Tails could stop, but then Nuclear Cheese runs into Mini Nat. And I don't know if I've seen those two fight before. Those two actually played earlier in the bracket. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this there's a this uh this bracket is uh full of salt and vengeance tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Mini I like Mat, it. Mini Mat is uh Mini Mat is is uh collecting uh <laughs> what, 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 I'm trying to figure out the way collecting souls tonight. Mini Mat collecting <laughs> souls and getting salt. A salt a salt magnet. <laughs> Salt magnet, indeed. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mini Mat. Oh, went 2-0 over Nuclear Cheese. Mini Mat's on a mission tonight. Damn. Yeah, Nuclear Cheese was climbing in that losers bracket, though. Uh, you know, had to had to go against Vi uh, Vicky Viper. And, uh, oh wow. Oh, and fireworks. The Order Soul that we saw earlier. Yeah, yeah. So that was a that, that was a Soul Order Soul mirror match. Yeah, honestly, I was a, I'm, I'm a little. You know, sometimes it's just how brackets brackets uh break out there but i was a little surprised to see uh vicky viper um not do a little more uh work in the bracket but as said though it is sometimes brackets just be like that and when you have a bracket full of killers with guilty gear yeah like plus our respect especially with these old games that have been out for a while like people joke about like it's really hard to get into these games because there's people who are really strong and it seems like everyone's really strong i mean yes everyone's really strong but that also means that there's a lot of data out there and there's a lot of matches you can watch so you can learn but also, sometimes that just happens in tournaments. You're just going to get matched up against somebody. Like, I had a buddy who got matched up against uh, Sako first round uh, one year at a major in Street Fighter. And it's just like, all right, <laughs> this just happens. What are you going to do about it? Hey, you know what? Um, I've, I've had to play some people first round. I played, uh, what was it? Uh, there was a, uh, it was a Blaze Blue Legend, um, Rio, Rio Relius. I played them uh, in one, hmm. when um, the first year of Exert, I was playing that. And I had to fight them, like, first round and lose his bracket. But, you know, like, so Rio Relius, for those that don't know, is pretty much a very legendary Blaze Blue player. Um, hmm. And okay. very, very good at Arxis games. So, like, you know, um, I had to play him and luckily i won <laughs> and i think <laughs> i think i think i think uh my training partners and you know people that helped me with the zato matchup at the time so um and and you know, my uh, my teammates okay you here. said nice okay sorry go on go on please and uh but no nah, yeah so you know it happens and you know vicky you know what you were saying about vicky viper you know vicky viper is still a a extraordinarily alpha two um vampire savior uh player as well in, in so many games kof 14 you know like vicky viper that's a name you definitely see if you uh oh yeah if you are if you're watching this stream you've definitely heard the name so yeah the vicky viper is a player who has a breadth of what's up oh, okay, okay. All right. looks like we're gonna have digital watches and a3r coming up next yeah 
and Isaac J and Nuclear Cheese might be playing in the uh, Digital Havoc bracket. So, yeah, we'll we'll have them. Uh, we'll figure that out when we can. But it looks like Digital Watches and HBR will be coming up next year. They didn't meet in bracket already, did they? No, they didn't. So uh, both of these uh, competitors, one of their paths is going to end, but one of them is going to continue Damn. that uh, that trail of a uh, Tra <laughs> yeah of vengeance and salt. A trail of tragedy. <laughs> can you believe? Can you believe that this is a what is this losers semis match? No, oh, this is a losers quarters. Okay, technically, wow. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, this is. Okay, okay. So yeah, we just got into the losers side. Okay. Damn, these brackets are full of killers. Yes. Yeah, like I am. Damn. See, some of these names, like Dave Owen, stuff like that. You you see these names and like you see you see these players win tournaments. So. Mhm. Mm <laughs> you know, there, 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 there is there is no shame at all. Yeah. So have uh, and of course sitting h hanging out in those winners finals. I'm gonna see who. So you both of these players are gonna be going to that midnight carnival. Druce and Raekwon. We got two Abbas already in the in the midnight carnival. And okay. Second, okay. Second representation. Yeah. Who does Jacob Pat play? I know that they were the another person that qualified for midnight carnival. I play Testament. Testament player. Okay. So we oh. got. So so far in the midnight carnival, we got Faust, two Abbas. A Venom, a Testament, and a Potemkin. I, nice. What about the name Jacob Pat? Like, I feel like that's a name that, of a jam player. I don't know why. That's just that's just my my brain goes to. Maybe because like... of AMD. Ah, yeah. ah, right. I was thinking that too. Maybe uh, it's all it's all players whose names start with J. Yeah. <laughs> that's our trick. You figured us out. <laughs> I figured out the jam players. Yeah. First like, it was name start with J, and then it was you can throw H buff ball. Like <coughs> Jamadeus and <laughs> Jeresa <laughs> and Jeresa and Jeresa Jlox. Joran 2K. <laughs> Yo, Milky, how can oh, you play jam? Joran Joran 2K the god. Mix up so hot, make the sun scene cold. Yo, <laughs> nice. See the way you know the way you know Venom players is that we're all very very smart. That's that, that that's how you know Venom players. And you all push your glasses up. Oh oh one hundred percent. Y'all are lucky that I've been, I ain't been playing this game at locals. I, people would get mad at me for like every single time I hit like a sick ball setup. I would pull my glasses down just to push them back up if I was playing Venom right now at locals and not just online. I still do it online. You Bernard, online. glass pushing ass. <laughs> you and your glass pushing ass. <laughs> that's great. All right, we got our match lined up here. Digital Watches coming in with Axel going up against A3R rolling in on Zappa. Let's do it. I'm going to play a little Theory Fighter here. I bet you. Uh, mm -hmm. I bet that. Mm -hmm. And shout out to you as well. I'm going to mention your name. I bet A3 has been playing with Capconian recently. Especially, you know, being being teammates with Capconian at the Magnum, you know, Magnum Opera as well. And just, you know, Capconian just overall being one of the, you know, best Axels. Oh, up there with visual watches, so... But gotcha. that person is looking very unfamiliar right now. I don't know about that one there, but come on, man. <laughs> nice FRC off the horizon there and setting up this beautiful pressure sequence. Oh, not rather, Ooh, sequence. Oh, that's yeah. but you take them. Oh, yeah, also, if you don't know text in this game, you have a... Throws are instant in this game, and you have a two-frame window for teching. So if there's a throw tech there, either there's some nice uh, Yomi going on, or both players are going for the throw attack. Uh, they're, they're, they're just... They're right. They're sizing each other up right now. They definitely mm -hmm. are. Like, cause uh, A3 went for that immediate. Um, after the centipede RC went for the dust and blocked it. They, they're both committed to what they were gonna do. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's a with how freeform a lot of offense in gear can be, uh, or a lot of well everything in gear can be. You often see a lot of rounds that are just like, let me see what's going on here, and before you start seeing the game, the the gameplay uh, fall into place. Oh, nice! It was a big counter hit! Really good from Digital Watch. That was, that was extremely sneaky. That was super dirty. This that damage! Save right there. That was, that, oh, gold burst! Oh, let's go! Oh, where you going? You gotta cross me up with this. Can you throw this gold burst instead? Oh, Run up with the center of heat. Ah, uh, ooh, ah, fix it! It's so scary. Uh, the sword don't care how good your defense is, you're going to hit eventually. Oh, no, you're not Mr. Funky no more, you're Mr. Get Thrown. Oh, the drop from Digital Watch! There's the sweep into the centipede. We got ghosts on deck here. Oh, get haunted. <laughs> oh, oh! Throw the ghost pebbles at him! 
Oh no, this is looking so rough for Digital Watches right now. Yeah. The, ghost, the curse is on, only has enough for one force break, maybe. And then there's the knockdown as well. Ghosts are coming out. There's yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, way three not closing it out on that burst from this is watch. Come on, you need No, oh, oh, that's no, a no, it's a oh, Let's go! It's the burst! Oh, no! It's the first out, though. Oh, the chicken was unfried! Yo, what? Oh, double KO! Double KO! Oh, let's go! Yeah, double KO here. Oh, I know, I know, I know you put that seasoning on there too, bro. I know. Let's do it! Yeah, you get a double KO in this game, and uh, it will it will not close the game out. So it will award the round to the person who doesn't have a round just yet if somebody else has a round. So that was really cool to see! Oh, watch the cooking cooking up right now. Oh, bait. Oh, that dead angle. Oh, there's the 6H. Oh, nice block. So there's a watch going there. Sword across the Oh, look at for a bird right now. Okay. Oh, the bird? Right now, sword. Oh. Oh, only got the one out the sword. Wasn't able to turn it into more of a juggle. Oh, it's, it's the oh. FRC, but not able to get a more of a combo off the sword. It's the Renson uh, uh, FRC, let's go! Or is the air hit here, gonna be able to turn that into a kill, and Digital Watches will take game one! Whew, whew. Let's go, Ahmad, let's go! That's <laughs> game one, that's game one, that's all right, that's all right. Damn, it's, I, ain't even gotta do a, I ain't even gotta do a workout on these uh, Boston Bluebeat days, I'm getting my heart rate up just from commentating this! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, li I like this, I like this. Take a, take a, take a, take a moment to breathe about that, because they both... They both definitely exchanged. Whoa! Nah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That definitely was. I've never seen A3 Religion play Dizzy. That is not execution. That's A3 Religion. All right. So th that was definitely a, a, mis a mispick. Would the, I'm not seeing anything getting said in the chats. Oh, nah, that was the. They're okay, no, no, no. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wrong character. A3 R just calling it out. Okay. You'll see Johnny before you see Dizzy. But you, yeah, you, I was yeah. a little shocked there. Just, just IK. All right, yeah. Sometimes it happens, though. Yeah, it's all right. You know, that that round was very that that first game was uh ridiculous. You know, so I definitely, you know, strategically, it it was a good thing for A3 to um you know take a bit of a breather at that character select and stuff. Yeah, these things happen sometimes. How it goes, how it goes. Them that uh, instant killer yeah. like sickles you know, of misery. You know, this happens to me all the time too. Sometimes I get the wrong character because uh, my confirm button is the same button as one of my assist calls in uh, when I play Marvel 3. Oh, yeah. So if I'm hitting rematch, sometimes I'll accidentally get the wrong character starting. So, like, playing up against the casuals with friends, I'll just hard tag and I'll eat the combo. In tournament? Hell no. Please take me back to character select. Ooh, man. Whew. All right, back to it. Right characters, let's go. We got Zappa versus Axel. Yo, this is actually a really good ship name. Zapaxel. I like that one. <laughs> Zapsel. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't ship these two myself, but I get it. Anyways, into the match. Yo, I just noticed. Are those uh, are those chains on Axel's coat or are those big ass zippers? I can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. Somebody help us out. But uh, anyway, we got game two starting. Oh, uh, the the out. Out. In the corner. Ooh, oh, an early burst from Digital Watches. Oh, it's sort early. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're both, they're both just playing really fast right now. Like, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, nice, nice awareness from A3 Religion getting that ghost. Ooh, 5K from Watches. The oh, in there? Whoa. Yo, that's why I was thinking about, about fanfic earlier, because A3R sounds like AO3. That's what's up, my bad. All right. AO3? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> we got ones on deck right now. There come the ghosts. I need to cut you down. Like right now. Oh, overhead. Where your head at? Oh. <laughs> Yo, I see you, Aggro Craig. Nice. All right, get the sickle combo. Oh no, misses the bomber. Oh, That's so oh. unfortunate. Loses the corner and loses the damage. Oh, nice jump from A3. Oh, please. Oh, oh, that. Yeah. I might no. definitely needed that. <laughs> you know, I, I, I totally. I, I'm not. It's really unfortunate that the character selecting happened there, because all the momentum that Digital Watches had coming out of that, mm, that's really unfortunate. Like, I'm, I'm just, like watching how this plays out right now. With that bomber loop that was dropped there as well earlier. That's rough. Digital Watches, though. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe Digital Watches oh, no. uh, uh, mm, Holding this corner pressure, gets swept uh -oh. into the center. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Swords out. Oh, oh, oh. It's just, oh, it's, oh, oh that oh, might be oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Oh, A3 Religion is dropping some of those uh, sword pressure uh, extensions there. That's really unfortunate. Had the perfect position to try to close out this game and make it a no contest. 
but it didn't work out. Oh, the bomber loop whips gets a chance to play. Sword. Not like that. Oh, spin the blade. Oh, never mind. Does not get your Tasmanian Devil on. You're getting tossed into the middle of the screen, and Digital Watch is looking to close the set, but A3 trying to get the first game on the board. Oh, drop. Oh, no. oh, oh, a bad person. Digital Watch. Oh, man. It has this, this, starting to, this is starting to catch up to him now. Yeah, A3 are the... Oh, no. Loses the ghost here. Digital Watch is... No. Okay, nice faint there. I thought it was going to go for the rush out. I was like, no, what are you doing? And then I saw the faint. Ooh, Smart stuff. I like it from A3, knowing that the combo is not going to finish and going for a, a tech throw. Right? Oh, there's oh. the burst. Okay. Nice. Nice. Burst yeah. out of there. Yeah. Ooh, good burst from A3R. Just, yeah, putting putting watches in the corner. Yeah, hold this. Hold this. Damn, I don't want to say the word burst and burst at the same time together. Don't like it. All right, but we got Ghost out on the field right now. So the FRC off the Ghost pressure here. Keep it up in the corner. Scores the sweep. Oh, another FRC to get right into the Ghost toss once more. Send the pressure. Oh, Banana peel ruining your day. We did call up in this bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Is the ranking there? Doesn't get anything else out of it. Oh, it's a hit! Oh, A3, we're going on Centipede! The Clash on Centipede! That was so oh, sick! Please, yes. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Living to fight another day! <laughs> let's go, more games! The old A3R oh, taking it to game three. Let's go! Oof! Please, I mean, I don't. Do you, do you have money? You're acting like you have money on this, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I've got Bison Bucks. <laughs> I've, got, I've got some Bison Bucks on this right now <laughs> all right digital watches a3r game three <laughs> i need some i need some uh, i need some west coast uh, bison bucks they <laughs> <laughs> right. ain't know what i'm talking about right now <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do it digital watch with that kind of like opening oh go first from a mod yo yeah. oh, 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 oh. Has, to, has to rc that overhead that, that overhead is negative on hit which is kind of weird so I had to rc it afterwards so, oh, dead angle. Oh, oh. this is a lot. Ready to get punished. Ooh, taking the chunk out of it. It's a lot right now. Ooh, no block. Oh. Nice paint oh. there. Maybe oh. angry into the air movement and getting the uh -oh. counter hit. And it oh, drops the damage. Oh! Scores it with the throw reset of the air. Let's go. The watch is on match point once again. All right. Got this pressure out here. In the, that I'm, I'm, I'm still I'm still shook by that air throw reset there. That was really, really good. Oh no! The whip's in the game. Mod, please, please, keep it. Don't, don't. All right, all right. One more chance, Mod. What's gonna do? Oh, oh really? Spaced out from the centipede wouldn't hit. Oh, no, Scores the ratio oh, afterwards. Ooh. Get rid of the ghost. Ghost busted. Oh no! Not, not the perfect connection, please. Oh, not the oh, perfect no. connection. No, Mod. No, 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 no. Get your bison bucks. No, get your bison bucks. No. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, but good stuff the Digital Watches, though. Uh, <laughs> Digital Watches. Perfect on the last game. <laughs> Digital Watches did some work there. Well done to Digital Watches. Unfortunately, for A3 Religion, that'll be the end of their bracket run right now. Not completely out of it for the Midnight Carnival for future tournaments, but out of it right now. Because there are six more qualifiers after tonight for the Midnight Carnival. But people would love to, to punch that ticket right now. New York got to take that home, yo. We, 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 you know what? We, we, I'm tight. I'm salty, but you know what? <laughs> it is, it is what it is, yo. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Whenever someone tells you that it is what it is, it's the most pissed off they've been in their entire oh, life. Free. Without I, fail, oh, every free, time. Free. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is, son. Like, leave me alone. Like, don't judge my shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> don't judge me. Oh yeah, what I was saying earlier, uh, Milky, was uh, AO AO3 is a fa yeah. You know, if you know what AO3 is, it's a fanfic site. And every single time I see A3R, I think about AO3 because yeah. So that, that's where my head kept going. <laughs> oh, got you, got you, got you. So that, okay. so that's why I was saying, oh, that's what you would call that ship name is Zapaxel. But anyways, let's get into this match right now. We got. Tails versus Nuclear Cheese. Also, thank you to the, to the people who were making contributions to the match arena, making this prize pool popping so that we got people playing for some for, for some dollars here. So let's get to it. We got Tails on Nuclear Cheese. This is a this is a standard for the Boston Blue Beat tournament, and I would say it usually goes in Nuclear Cheese's favor, but Tails can absolutely do this on the right day. So let's see how it goes. Names right now. They're not Tails is not playing. Cheese no cheese killer. Made it to that. Yo, Cheese Killer, son. Cheese so, Killer. You know, you know it's real. Yo, let's do it. <laughs> Okay. I know that uh, Tails been getting a lot of Tails has also been getting a lot of soul matchup experience. Uh, there's another um, they're in chat right now, uh, popping off a little bit every now and then. Uh, entire an entire skeleton. So been playing. Nuclear cheese! What, what was that? I, Tyler, wait! That, why? What did you just? 
You know, but you know what? That's nuclear cheese. I, yes. I don't. Oh, DP, yo, let's go. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Scores of Fujin, this is gonna be it. That's the round. Oh, no, oh, this is the meter to close it out. Oh. Okay, okay. You know, okay. I, w I wish nuclear would have riot stomp. Mm. Oh! Volcanic Viper in this mode. Yo, Spinning Lizard, let me know who you want to see. I'll see what I can put together for you. Oh. All right. Did that oh, riot there it step? Is. Ooh, Tails is not Tails not playing none of Cheese's uh Cheese's <laughs> antics tonight! <laughs> I'm trying to get that qualifying spot. Ooh! Five K Cheese Oh! Dodge oh, get get it the way out of Dodge, yo! Get the hell out of my house! Oh! <laughs> get the hell out of my house! Let's do it! Oh wow, this is a big combo though. Ooh, another sidewinder? We got another one? Okay, just ends it with the bandit revolver instead. Has to hold the gun flame there. So fast. Push in the corner. No, oh, no, Tails, that was a bad first call. Oh. Should've just held it even if you- OH really? WHAT THE WIN! Doing the work there! Not even going to kind of punish oh, that oh, one time, right? Oh! Cookie, oh, please! I'm oh sorry. no, oh, Bandit Bringer! No. Bandit Bringer hits big, unfortunate. <laughs> one round apiece! This is just game one, and <laughs> we already have complete oh, incoherency God. here. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 it's scooped. Match up, yo! Bro. Let's go. On a beat it oh no, the Sidewinder is gonna be doing some damage. Anji does have Guts 5 though, so in the back half of his life bar here. Oh, never mind, Guts 5 is not gonna matter. That by itself was so. It was so, it was so science brain that I couldn't even talk. Well, Soul is a scientist, so this checks out, right? You're right, that's fact. That's a yeah, fact. Watch the Tyrant Rip. Oh, RC of the Tyrant Rip. Oh no, tries oh, to catch you. The IT is literally just go. Living the oh. You know, here's the okay. So nuclear cheese takes that one. Here's the frustrating part about what just happened there. So tails went for the five D on G's little like umbrella pop. That move has the guard frames on the top. But nuclear cheese, the answer sometimes is you just press more buttons so you can gatling to a low to blow it up. And if the an if the answer is press more buttons, I think nuclear cheese is gonna turn out okay in the situation. Nuclear literally was walking forward and just was like, "Yo, I don't care that you have auto guard or guard point. I am so m bad guy. You, I <laughs> I kill gods. I break for a living. You see this sword? Damn. You ain't nothing to me with your ancient, with your whatever weapon. Yo, I got riot stomping. Oh, <laughs> fans, butterflies. I got this like cement sword. What is this thing? I don't know. There's a sweep into the knockdown, has to hold the gun flame, trying to find a way out of the corner here. Does find a way out of the corner, but then gets tagged by the riot stomp after the hop. Oh my god, the riot stomp counter is going nuts in the fuck and it Oh! Has to burst it. Has to burst it. Oh no, this is actually, actually, I don't know about that burst. Look at this life discrepancy. Yeah, that was yep. definitely not a, uh, that was not a logical burst. Oh no, the impossible, impossible, impossible burst with the sidewinder, that was so sick. Uh, Tails needs to slow down. Slow down, they're feeling a little too, um... Yeah, playing it, uh, playing it cheese's pace? Yeah, yeah, way too much, way too much. And they're getting, like, they, that, uh, I think they went to round three. You know, they wasn't looking too bad in that first one, but uh, that's what you need more. No, oh, no, not the kick follow-up in your chin. Damn. Not like this. All right, yeah, yeah, so yeah, Tails is taking a different approach. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, okay. you got the right. corner there. This is really hard. This is actually a, a tough matchup for Anji because Soul's 2D comes out so fast and recovers so quick. Um, if you, it allows Soul to check a lot of Anji's options where other characters just have to hold stuff. So that's kind of rough for uh, Anji. Yo, yo, have a heart, Nuclear. What is the, what, yo, what, yo, Nuclear fuck Oh my. Thanks for the raid. I'm kind of way about that. Uh, about yo, Tails. You're the cheese killer, right? I'm, I'm gonna take your burst. How about that? Oh, okay. Come on, Tails. Show me some. Show me some. There's no burst. There's no burst available. No, we got one. Still got 50 bar. Not getting hit by the fall. Okay. Ooh, meaty normal. Yeah. Meaty butterfly doesn't miss the timing this time. Okay. Good stuff. Dead angles off. Okay. No more meter available. Available for new good cheese and no burst either. So if Tails can find a way in here, okay. 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 Force break. Knock down FB Butterfly, you need to do it! Oh! Please force break Butterfly, doesn't oh, do it! Oh, did no. not do it! Oh, please! Well... Look at that here. I know, oh. I know, I know. Doesn't have enough meter for a force break anymore. Oh, the Grand Viper! Oh, oh no! Oh. Did you want the whole thing of it? Jeez, it's not stopping! Relentless! Jeez, burst oh. now too. That's it. Tails, yes, you I had it! Oh, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. The cheese killer has been killed by nuclear cheese. That's not... How you want to go out? You don't. 
Unfortunately. You don't want to be. You don't want to see. Spend, yo. As as Liston the Prince would say, spend the cash, yo. Like Damn. that was spend the, the you know. That, especially in Guilty Gear, why would you not spend it? You know, just just spend it. Just spend it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Nuclear yeah. Cheese is doing it. Why wouldn't you do it? Unfortunate for Tails, Nuclear Cheese advances onward. Also, thank you for the raid, FGC Stone. Anybody else uh, joining from Stone Stream, thank you for joining us here. Hope you enjoy Boston Bluebeat. My name is Swell, and this is Milky J with me. Uh, and hope y'all having a good night so far. I hope, thank you for joining us here. Y'all should consider hitting up the Macharino if you haven't already. Oh, damn it. Yeah, someone's calling it out. The Grand Viper at the end there, that's such a heartbreaker. And Tails, all, all they had to do was just block low, too. They, it, it's just, uh, it, you know, and that's the human factor, right? Yeah. Like, in those situations, you, normally you'd probably block, but it's the pressure of, damn, I need to get this round, yo. Like, things are happening. And it's like, uh, I'm, not, uh, oh, I'm not blocking now. I'm getting hit by stuff I shouldn't get hit by. And now I'm in this situation. And, oh. Uh. You know, I think part of it, too, was that um, nuclear cheese... Well, a lot of soul players do this, but I, I think Tails... I don't know if Tails tried to... Somebody called out, it might have been a missed um, guard point. Like, if like if, if Tails was trying to go for a guard point cancel of, of, of something or another. Um, but the other thought is that um, Tails might have thought that Cheese had meter. So, Tails may have been afraid of an RC or something like that, so was trying to get away preemptively. But there wasn't meter on hand, though, so... Yeah. But I was going to play about, you know, what I was saying about the human element. You, you, like, yeah. you probably notice the situation, oh, they don't have meter, I'm just going to punish. But, you know, you, you lose your composure, and these things happen, so. Yeah. I really, I know that Tails really want to try to make it into that Midnight Carnival too. so it's a little bit of a heartbreaker. Would have been one step closer to it, but so it goes. This match here, though, Mini Matt up against Nuclear Cheese, this will be, my, my, if my bracketology is correct here, this should be a qualifying match for uh, Midnight Carnival. Uh, yes, it is, because we're at the top four now. Yeah. So, so the next two loser side matches we see from Mini Matt and Nuclear Cheese and then Jace and Digital Watches, those are both going to be, whoever wins these matches punches their ticket to the Midnight Carnival, which will be happening on what, April 4th, I believe it is? Please, April 2nd. April 2nd. Oh, it's the 2nd? I thought it was the 4th. Yo, sick. Okay. Or oh, it could be the 4th. I could, I'm, I'm not good with numbers. Okay, right cool. Now. Yeah, it, it's, it's sometime early April. These it's sometime two. early April. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the, it's the fourth. I think, you're, I think you're right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. Fighting game players can count to two, because that's the number of rounds that we're hoping to win. <laughs> was that two? Was that, was that two? Was that two? That was two, right? That was two, right? <laughs> all right. All right, Minimat versus Nuclear Cheese here. Minimat rocking that uh, Cliff Underson, and Nuclear Cheese rocking that soul. Let's do it. That, that, that cheese soul. Oh, mm -hmm. blue, che that blue cheese soul. <laughs> No, like, I, yeah, <laughs> wait, I thought you said blue jean soul, but yeah, blue cheese, too. Oh, blue, blue cheese, blue, blue cheese soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hitting these clean hits on Cliff. Oh, doesn't hit the second one. There's the taunt out there on the field. Oh, Minimat with a nice starter, putting a... Oh, I'm missing Ooh. a punish. Oh, yeah. and it's Ringer. Yeah, we're seeing, and like, you see sweeps from a lot of characters, uh, but Cliff's sweep is a particularly good sweep as well. It's very fast and recovers pretty quick, too, if I recall correctly. Nice nape saddle up and over that. Oh, right, the Skull Crusher in. You know, very uh, consistent with the FRCs from Nuclear Cheese on that Gunsling there. Very, really important FRC for Soul because it allows him to follow up behind the projectile there. Good stuff. Oh, nice. Almost tries... Was able to connect with the JK coming in uh, from the air there was Minimap, but not able to turn anything else afterwards, but still able to close out the round with the, um, the Wiggle. Cliff, uh, Cliff cutting that cheese on the board right now, you know, with mm -hmm. his uh, stabs in the air. like, yo, I want good cheese right now. Yo, let me spread that breed. Fine. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yo, that was so sick! Rode in with the Nape Saddle and then the Taunt hit from behind afterwards, then able to extend it out into a combo? Excuse me? Is that what just happened there? Oh, wow! Yo, yeah, Nuclear is stunned right now. Jeez. Oh, Ooh, that yo, damage! No, that charge no, system! No! That, you know, I say it's not worth it, but if Nuclear Cheese gets it... Oh, oh my... Gets the clean hit off of that as well. Oh no, not able to follow up with the combo afterwards! Now, has, can't afford to take any damage here, but... <laughs> Mini Matt finds a way and does it. Mini Matt takes game one over Nuclear Cheese. That was that was such a fast game compared to some of the other games that we've had so far. Yeah, Mini Matt ain't trying to get uh Mini Matt definitely not trying to get haunted. Mini Matt more than likely definitely just saw that last match that happened and was like, yo, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not nah, letting what happened. Nah, nah. I don't, I don't yeah. need to let this happen to me. <laughs> yeah, nah, that, nah, I'm, 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 I'm purifying ghosts. I am the ghost, if anything. 
<laughs> Goddamn. Alright. Cliff Ooh. Anderson, soul bad guy. Let's do it. Trying to get She's running out with Brian stop on the round start again. Yo, oh. pull vault in. Yeah, that, the, the sword isn't active until like halfway through the animation when uh, Cliff does the pull vault there, but once it so it, it can weirdly seem like you just all of a sudden got hit when you weren't getting hit a second ago. But yeah, uh, pretty it's a pretty good move to move around the screen. It's working out well. Oh nice use of the skull crusher to get so underneath it. I wish I had half the bravery cheese has. I, I want to go up to be like cheese. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know if you got a long life expectancy if you live in like this. Yo, but you know what? That, that kind of bravery, you can have an awesome life. Ooh. That's true. That's true, though. Here for a good time, not for a long time. Hitting with that sweep into the Friday. Got that taunt, Oki. Using the scale ripper as well to control the skies afterwards. Nate saddles in. Oh, really? Five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, soul survivor. <laughs> Mini man is just like, nah, yo, no. We are not we today. Are not we are not playing this game. Like, we're gonna play Guilty Gear Action Core, not not Soul Bad Guy the Action Flick. Oh, nice. Also, that super is called Soul Survivor, and yeah, that is what Mini Man is doing here. Mini Man is surviving the soul. Oh, or, or, or as we would say, Soul Survivor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to hit with the scoop with the J8s there. Oh, nice. Uh, riot stomp. Uh, riot nice. That was I, I. I like that a lot. There actually it gets away from where the wow the damage. Look at that! Clean no, 40% of your life. Well, bro. Well, you know what? Knowing Cheese, maybe that was a part of a bigger mind game. Big a big a media or something. I don't even know. But Mini Man's not giving a damn about any of that either. Cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, blocks the oh, dust. Oh, Goes for the burst. Burst on oh. your burst, and then scores a DP after the burst. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna walk bro. Oh, Brian Stump. Oh no. no. Milky, how did you know? Oh, how did because, you know? Because I'm a, I am an eighth intellect, just like nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever played a KO player, you, <laughs> you have to channel your nuclear cheese at some point. Ooh, and Mini Man is not trying to channel any of that. Trying to keep this compact, simple, and clean. Ooh, stay over here. Get back. Could be the last oh, round. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that oh, mix. No. That oh, mix. No. Okay, push in the corner here. Got a chance. Oh yeah. Oh, wow, throw Mini Man up backing, yeah. I don't care if I don't got no meter, I got so much life. I'm definitely Use up the back taunt, use the scale ripper after just trying to control things. Oh, oh watch the time rate, yeah. gonna be able to ride the sword in afterwards. That'll be it. Mini Mat takes it 2-0 over. Nuclear cheese. And uh congratulations to Mini Mat uh for placing top Midnight four. Carnival. Not only yeah, and, and qualifying for the midnight con no, no, midnight carnival and being top four in this bracket. Yeah, big ups to, to Mini Matt. Nuclear Cheese uh, showed up, played pretty well, but Mini Matt uh, was a little bit stronger there. Yeah. Also, something that something that Hano just pointed out in chat. Big ups to Hano as uh, well, by the way. Uh, been around Guilty Gear scene for quite oh, some up, time. What's up? But yeah, uh, Hano pointed out that the Nape Saddle there, when the round that's uh, Nuclear Cheese won with the Riot Stamp, if the FRC hadn't happened, Cliff would have been carried into the corner over the Riot Stomp and the Riot Stomp would have cleared out, and uh, that would not have been the round. Uh, Mini Man ended up winning the game overall, so it works, you know, it worked out however. But yeah, just a weird interaction there where the non-FRC could have actually been advantageous versus the actual FRC. Guilty Gear, game of details. Yes, yes, and, and they all, they're all very important. Whether you, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't think so or not, when you play somebody, yeah, that information definitely, uh, you know, adds up. All right. So we're going to have a... Uh, I think uh, Jace and Digital Watch is coming up for the uh, the last it. top four qualifying spot in this uh, tournament and also for tonight's uh, qualifying event for the Midnight Carnival. Yeah, we have gifted the Midnight Carnival a Potemkin, an ABBA, and a Cliff so far. Will our next gift be a Bridget or an Axel? Let's see. Let's find out. The, uh, yeah, this has been the only kill right now. Yeah, and thank you for staying with us, folks. Like, I'm getting tired, and I'm not even playing in this thing. And these players right now, whew, must be tired as well. Hope you all are having a good time watching the stream. We got over 100 people out there watching. Very much oh, appreciate wow, it. wow, yo. Let's go. Yeah, we had the raid from FGC Stone, which pushed us over 100. And so, yeah, kind of kind of nice. And uh, glad you all are enjoying it. If you haven't already, uh, hit up the Macharino, uh, tweet out the stream, you know, get people watching. Midnight Carnival Qualifier. It's the, the hyper these these uh, tournaments before the Midnight Carnival are, the hyper the tournament at the end is going to be too. Because then everybody's going to be all invested in it and stuff. So, you know, get it out there. Oh, damn. Well, gotcha. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're holding off for a moment here, waiting for... Since there are online tournaments, we do have the... If anybody's been in a been in a local, you know what it's like when people are playing in multiple tournaments. So we got that same thing going on right now with Jace playing in another tournament. So we'll see that. Yo, my apologies. I'm, uh, I, oh, huh. If I got that messed up there, huh? No, my apologies. I don't... Hmm. I've been trying to watch out for that, but good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Got you, got you. Alright, we're gonna take a small break here, folks. So we will be back at you in just a few minutes. Please stick around. We'll be back with some more Guilty Gear Plus R action for Boston Bluebeat.
Welcome back, y'all, to uh, Boston Blue Beat, the uh, mm -hmm. ex-Midnight Carnival edition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for tuning in and sticking with us. Uh, right now, we ha we're going to have uh, Jace versus Digital Watches to uh, qualify for this final top four spot. So we're going to see Bridget versus Axel. Hell yeah. Just about. Excited for this? And these two, yeah. you know, a long time, uh, long time, uh, friends and, you know, training, training partners, I'll, I'll say, and all that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you know, the, the player, the player mind games are going to kick in. Hopefully we get to see another double KO round. I, I love oh, those. Right? I want to see it. <laughs> we love those. Yeah, see, so I did the watches here on the Axel, Jace on the Bridget, getting down to it. Already, you can see a little bit of an early life lead from... Wow. From digital watches here, she is doing in some putting in that work. I'm gonna pull these strings here from Jace, just getting that yo-yo out on the field there. Not able to score with a lock on though, so digital watches keeping the pressure though. Nice, it's the FRC off the Rinson. Such a critical FRC for Axel as well. Like it, it enables so much offense for a for Axel. Yeah, watches. She's definitely done overall a great like job, and you know most tournaments as well, but just maximizing most of those situations in uh getting a lot of a lot of damage just like this yeah like yeah this. look at that we got enough meter for one more no no misses on the way down oh getting two whiffs though jace uh not, oh, yeah yeah had so much life though that she was still able to turn that situation uh to her advantage you know watches here up around Ooh. it's afterwards scores with the rat show really um walkable ah uh, yes I guess I can find my stuff there. I can get that Axel yes as a, a like a text notification noise. Give good one. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Woo! I see that air FRC. Excellent. First off, doesn't even want to deal with it. Up around as well, so using that first, you know, you, you know you're gonna have another round of play, so not too bad to just go ahead and catch it out there. It has a relatively equitable life, so not a bad burst. Dagger Roger out on the field, interrupts the Rasho attempt there. Oh, yeah, Digital Watches, she's having none of that. Just immediately nice recognizing, burst. going for that, uh, that reset. And, uh, getting Jace to spin that, uh, spin that burst. Okay. Sitting on, uh, sitting on the yeah. match point for this burst game. Oh, oh that's ooh, so much help I got lost there. Nice, nice, nice. Roger Rush, sealing the deal. Round three. Ooh, try to score the overhead. Weird angle how that worked out there, but the scramble turned into Digital Watch's favor. Jace was an excellent instant box as well, uh, against watches, I wanted to mention. Mm-hmm. Right, Shadow once more, doesn't get anything out of it. Just a, a really good rock and dice there, nice job. Oh, gets a nice counter hit start. Is the air train? Nice! Oh. And yeah, see, oh! Trying to got this guy, yo! Nice! Nice! Look at the rock! in the kitchen, yes! I'm ready for this rice and this chicken and this vegetables. <laughs> Let's go, cooking it up a minute here. I like the rasho there as well, because the rasho hitting put put into the grab state so that the Jagged Roger did not factor into the equation there. That was really smart from Digital Watches. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but if I'm Digital Watches, I'm just going, yeah, I meant to do that. She, she needs to calm down with that mix-up. I actually got hit, like, twice. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't calm down with nothing, girl. Move on. Qualify. You can calm down once you qualify. Maybe. Oh yeah, and you, you see those Naturino bucks? You don't you don't want to calm down. It's just starting. If anything, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, right. Let's get to it. Heaven or hell, do oh, let's rock. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. The scores a quick little uh, hit off the top there. Not able to turn in too much else there. Roger doesn't catch anything on the way down. All right, both sides here, just kind of fishing for position. Not able to get too much, too, too much out of anything just yet. I think Jace is trying to be a little bit more deliberate about the approach here. Knows that this could punch the ticket for the Midnight Carnival, and, you know, that just takes care of things, not to worry about it. But, so, might, might be trying to be a little more cautious here to make this happen. She wants to qualify sooner than later. Oof. Oh, yeah. I'm almost, almost getting a really, uh, I'm almost getting uh, some really bad damage on that counter hit mm -hmm. starter. That was, a, that was a pretty healthy life. Oh, 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 Wow, really combo to the other side of it and almost be able to make something happen off the Roger Rush. Jace doesn't have the life lead, but still trying to set up for the right position with Roger. Nice scoop wow. from Digital Watches! That awareness to hit Roger right there, that oh, was no. 
You do oh, not want to Oh no, the truck! Watch, please! You do not want to me right now! Yeah, and also that being caught in the Blackbeat combo for the Axel Bomber as well, that's so much damage that didn't need to happen. That's really unfortunate. Broke that way about maybe 10, 15 seconds earlier. And oof, nice catch with the anti-air combo. Doesn't catch up the burst there, even though the life was kind of close. It's so scary to burst against Axel if you're up above Axel like that. So, yeah, very smart. Most of the times it's not bursting against Axel when he's in that position. And um, speaking of which, uh, Digital Watch is going to be on mess point right now, but Jace not... Oh, okay. Ooh. Potentially last verse from Jace, I've got to put the final stand up right now. Yeah, and Bridget already down, he doesn't have much in the way of guts either, so this is really hard for Jace to try to make fun of here when he watches. However, oh, if you can do it, that, oh, yeah. Yeah. Get that rinse in FRC, nice, gets up with a Rochelle, not able to score much else out of it though. Unfortunately, Ooh, okay, Yo-Yo Clips, almost here to close up the round. Jace. Oh! Oh no! Missing the combo, please! No. Okay, the time killing machine. Oh! Really? She was a step ahead. Move. The gold burst to avoid having to hold any block stone from me and my killing machine? That was so smart. If you, you called it out. She was a step ahead. That's really good. Frying object? Oh, RC on the frying object. Yeah, you got that meter after the gold burst. Catch it out. Treat yourself nice. I would be definitely holding six and nine right now if I'm uh, <laughs> a digital watches or all this meter. And I'm, I'm about to, you know, I'm the one that's got to win. Yeah. But, but Jace ooh. is, ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Jace might make this happen. Look at, look at this. Look oh, at this no. ooh, that could have been. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Oh, all right. Jace uh, hanging alive in there. Okay. Tries to take out my heart and immediately pause on it, though. Roger, rush control on some of the uh, field there. Jace is definitely going for more uh, trying to whip punish digital watches in those spaces so mm -hmm. uh, they can close that gap in more. It's uh, it's, it's, it's kind of working right now. They got to like flee. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, nice. Falling Starship. I like it. Jagged Roger out in the field. Going to enter the combo there. Oh. Okay. Actually, don't, hmm, I think that might have been able to be blocked low because I don't think Jagged Roger hits high or anything like that. But by standing up to block the Jagged Roger high, got put into block stun. And then Jace was able to open uh, her up with the low there. So a little bit... I, I might have been able just to hold that low, but, you know, unfortunate situation. You don't want to be caught between uh, Bridget and Jagged Roger. Wow. No that air throw was ridiculous. I, I did not even think Bummer. that you were in throw. You know it's guilty to get up. Oh, no. No, the Bummer. third left. Oh, overhead. Oh, yeah, Jason looking to close this out right now. Yeah, yeah. honestly, with the pit damage, too, yeah, that's it. Even if Digital Watches have been able to escape there, and Jace takes that, takes that game, even if Digital Watches have been able to escape, she didn't have any meter to faultless defend, so any sort of sandwich situation would have been checkmate and probably the game anyways. So, unfortunate, but so it goes. And that bomber loop that got dropped earlier, if that hadn't gotten dropped, that might have been the game-changing scenario the game. there. Yeah, that, that was more than likely game, because that was the... where it, where, it, where the combo started, the guts wouldn't have uh, protected Bridget. Mm -hmm. But, here we are, though, now in Game 3. Whoever wins this advances... Which is they're taking it to the Midnight Carnival. Oh, I called something Starship earlier, but apparently I've been informed it was a JD, which is, looks very similar to Starship, but is not. Because uh, uh, Starship will halt your momentum in the air, but Bridget's JD, while looking similar, does not halt your momentum in the air. So, thanks to Teto for shouting that out. Appreciate that, Teto. There's so much to learn about this game. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Oof. The Bridget wisdom. The wisdom. <laughs> the wisdom. <laughs> Nice. All right. That's not mine. That's, that's uh, somebody else's, but I like it. All right. Jagged Roger out on the field there. Controls some of the air, air approach, and that was a force break Jagged Roger as well. Tracking towards the opponent. Woo! Ooh. Oof. Digital Watches catches those. Yeah, getting those legs like real uh, <laughs> real quick, and uh, Digital Watch is looking to go on, to, uh, on the match point right now. Ooh, Roger Fetch, able to catch a hit there. All right, Jason. Yeah, trying to keep that... Uh, oh, no, the Roger Fetch. That kind of vertical uh, space uh, around uh, Axel, trying to keep it more tight, so mm -hmm. get more. Uh, yeah, trying to get him to whip more, you know. Just yeah. like this. And now the uh, you know your tension's in danger. Nice. Not able to turn this into a full combo here. Mm. Can't. You know, for as much as that crank, the wrist gauge wasn't really able to turn it into anything else afterwards. However, that did some damage. That secures the life lead for digital watches in the moment. She's looking in a real strong position right now. Doesn't have any more oh, meter. 
another Bomber drop the on the air. Oh no. Yeah, that has been. Oh, not mattering now though. Doesn't matter though. Digital Watches takes it over Jace 2 1. Digital Watches punches ticket into top four and also punches ticket into the Midnight Carnival. Congratulations, Digital Watches. You will be participating in the Midnight Carnival. Hell and yeah. And top four against Mini Matt uh, in this tournament. Uh, is that right? Let me see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mini Matt versus party? Digital Watches. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to winners' finals right now, though. Sounds right. We'll see what our TOs decide to do. Thank you for joining us for Boston Blue Beat as we enter into the top four of the tournament. We got Potemkin. We got an ABBA. We got Cliff. And we got Axel. Damn, I love this game. Everyone's strong. You got a spread of characters every single top four. Love it. This this rarely is rarely duplicates at all. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Yes, yeah, so we got uh, we got Druce and Raekwon in winners finals. I believe that'll be coming up next. Druce was doing some work earlier with their ABBA, so see what's up. Uh, and yes, uh, BTBN3. Uh, the top four for this should all be qualified into the Midnight Carnival. Anybody who qualified already cannot participate in the qualifying tournaments. So it opens up a lot of room for other people to try to advance through. So uh, like Elven Shadow and Black Snake, for example, already qualified, so they are not participating in this tournament. Black Snake usually doesn't play in Boston Blue Beat, but uh, Elven Shadow is usually here to take to take home that prize purse. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, Skeletal's in the chat and usually here. I'm sorry. I said Skeletal's usually usually here and is in the chat oh, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Skeletal's usually here too. See, oh, okay. What's up, yo? What up? What up, Wes? It's good. All right. We got Druce in the room already, waiting for Raekwon. Raekwon showed up uh, about three weeks ago and put in some work. Yeah. Um, what... If you're um, if you're if you're uh, if you're Druce, you're definitely uh, using this time while Raekwon is going to think about how to put this matchup because uh, Isaac <laughs> definitely knows. No, some ABBA. So <laughs> yeah, this was getting said in chat. This was getting said in chat earlier, and uh, Raekwon has played a lot with Skeletal Minion, so they've been. Hmm. So yeah, one of the students. So yeah, 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 so. yeah. So Raekwon absolutely has the info on the ABBA matchup and won't be caught out by anything there. So it's going to be a hard, tall order for Druce, because even if the, even if it wasn't a thing where Raekwon was intimately familiar with the matchup, Raekwon is a beast, as we saw earlier. So. Honestly, I gotta say, looking at this top four, I think Raekwon is my favorite to take tonight. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I actually um, ah, uh, okay. So we okay, are looks like we may the loser semifinals. Then. Yeah, it looks like we may dip back to the lower half of the bracket and get that match sorted out first, which would be Mini Mat with Digital Watches. That'll be Cliff going up against Digital Watches Axel. I'm, I'm assuming pretty sure since these two are uh, around mm -hmm. the not, not not necessarily in the same area, but in the same like part of the country, they probably have played a uh, played some uh, Guilty Gear Plus R a bit, especially with rollback. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm if Mini Matt rolling into the lobby, get digital watches in here. Just had her a moment ago. Y'all saw that Axel? We know it. We love it. It's a good axle. It's a damn good axle, in fact. <laughs> yeah, we get this match coming up here. And of course, Boston Blue Beat also does uh, Blaze Blue. So mm -hmm. if you are interested in playing Blaze Blue, that one is a little region locked. So do check out which regions are uh, able to enter that one. But bla but they do Blaze Blue what Fridays, right? Yes, Friday. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you are interested in Blaze Blue, Boston Blue Beat does that on Fridays. It is generally uh, East Coast oriented, so that's where some of the regional stuff gets uh, limited to. But if you like it, hit it up. And also, Casa Bunch happens on Fridays. And is Casa one of the qualifiers for Midnight Carnival? Yes, not this week, though. Next week. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, Casa is Casa Fridays. The good group of folks there, I would love to work with them more, just unfortunately timing Fridays are just rough for me on that end. But they are doing a qualifier for Midnight Carnival as well. 
and that's happening next week Friday. And, but but they are running their Plus R and a bunch of other games. Street Fighter Five, Grand Blue. Did they run anything else, or is it those three? No, also Street Fighter Four recently added. Oh, Street Fighter Four, nice. You know, I gotta say, I don't. Street Fighter Four is not a game for me to play, but I do really enjoy watching Street Fighter Four. I understand. I understand. I totally get it. Yeah. If I, if, <laughs> if, I, if, if I can't air block in a game, I feel completely lost. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I started off playing Street Fighter. Um, I would say competitively, but I hmm. grew up like Street Fighter Two was probably like that, and um, say like Streets of Rage versus mode and stuff was like my first fighting games. As a <laughs> Streets of Rage versus mode. <laughs> versus mode. Don't see me in that. You can see uh, what's you can see uh, I forgot Pat's name, but uh, you can see look up look up the climax of Night Grand Finals from 2019. You want to talk about uh, Streets of Rage? That that's some that's some broken stuff. Nice. That's sick. <laughs> I didn't even know Streets. Like, I think I knew Streets of Rage had a versus mode, but I just never thought about playing it as a fighting game. That's rad. Yo, that'd be a sick uh. Do like a Sega All Stars fighter? I'd play that. Oh yeah. Wait, does, does Streets of? Because I know Streets of Rage was on Sega. I don't actually know if Sega owns Streets of Rage though. Either That's way, a, no, it's, it's a Sega uh, LP. Oh, it is nice. Yes. Okay, so right now though, we got Mini Mat Digital Watches rolling into things here. So I don't think I've I've, I've seen this matchup a couple times. I f don't know how it goes for each side, but I feel like Axel should be able to stop some of the angles that Cliff can approach at where Cliff usually wants to approach and Axel's long normals probably create some difficulty for Cliff because Cliff often enjoys having a range benefit over other characters. That's my theory. I mean, that, that, I don't play either of these characters, but like that based on, um, you know, how the tools work and stuff, that, uh, that sounds about right to me. Alright, let's see how it breaks down. Ooh. Right now, Digital Watch is putting in some work. Oh, gets the Blackbeat combo too on Miniman. She gets those bomber loops. Well, I, I was, I was going to say didn't drop it this time, but, you know, Blackbeat combo. <laughs> but, right? Yeah, it's, it's a start. It's a start. Blackbeat better than no B. Ooh! 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 Nice! Oh! Yeah, the like, you, you, see, you see Cliff as a character, you don't expect to get fuzzy by a character that looks like this, but damn do you get fuzzy by a character that looks like this. Oh, the fried egg nice as well? Tech and the nice RC extension from Miniman. Oh, Tech! Ooh, the oh, Tech! Let's go! Let's go! Oh. Nice, uses the ratio. Goes through the taunt as well. Does that deal with it? Yeah! Extremely. Oh! The Scoob. Yo, Miniman said, I, my answer is not blocking. I'm gonna Jeez. air -proof. Right? It's amazing how a lot, of, a lot of options in this game work out like that. Like, you can just air throw them rather than having to hold the mix a lot of the time if your head's up about it, so nice to see. Of course, another Rash Show. Cliff, though, can do so much damage that this life lead here it looks like it's a big... This looks like a substantial life lead here, but off the right starter, Cliff can do a ton of work. However, yeah. not much meter on hand, though, so the damage potential is a little bit crimped. And you can tell that uh, Digital Watches is aware of uh, that damage output from, uh, from Cliff as well, too, because she opted to spin that burst even at the end of that round, you know, mm -hmm. making sure you close it out. Going to game three, or round three. Mm-hmm. Talking mm -hmm. that crash. Ooh, nice. There's the words coming out on the screen there. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, the, yeah Phoenix Wright ain't the only character with words on the screen. Ooh, nice. Trying to stay away from things here. Just holding, holding back in the corner here. Mini Matt really trusting in uh, their defense there. Not not really worried about anything. That was a true cool combo. That was really good for Mini Matt. Excellent. Uh, yeah, just little watches went for the rat show there, then took the feint. I'm not sure if that was didn't believe in it or oh, if there was some other mind game oh, there. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh, catches with that. Let's go. Is the FRC. Oh no. I think that combo might have been staggered, thinking that there might be a burst come out and hoping to catch the burst on it to get the big damage to close things out. I gotta use this burst now! Oh! There it is. Blocks ah, the dragon. The oh! Unfortunate. Digital watches going down in game one. Mini Mat taken game one. This is loser semis, so we're not to first to three yet. Please. That was. Ooh. Wow. Whew. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, Mini Matt, that was that was really good stuff, and snuck that snug that round in. If I do say so, mm -hmm. that was really good stuff. All right, into game two here. Digital watches a Mini Matt, seeing who can uh who can try to get up to, to losers finals. There's a lot of blue uh, the color blue 
right uh, today. Yeah, especially for this uh, Boston Bluey. Very fitting. <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We got people talking about Fighters Mega Mix in the chat. Dion. Yo. Ooh, catches the knockdown there. There's the Renson, doesn't FRC afterwards. Not sure if he would've got anything off the FRC, so not using it there makes sense. Hits the Bomber Loop, this time doesn't miss. Yo, they, yeah, that's the damage he wants. Let's do it. Oh. Close to stun, oh. doesn't quite work out. Then he went for a reset in that situation. Mm, hopefully not bur Really? Oh, Ooh, it hits, it hits. We need this? Oh, block. Oh, oh this is nice. far enough away, though. Didn't get anything else oh. out of it. Not able to kill. Oh, wow. Nice. Good stuff. Catches. Just watches. Yeah, catches with the 2H, able to close out the round. She's definitely still in, in the mix right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, I see people talking about the Korean soundtrack, too. I, fi I fired that one in. The audio quality is really good. I, the Korean mix is excellent. It's fire. Oh, holds the oh. chop. Immediate burst. Good, good call. Uh, the chop can lead to some silly high damage routes sometimes. So, like, just doing that on impulse, I... Yeah. Peanut butter oh. jelly sandwich on watches right now. Oh, overhead. Look at that, dog. Oh, no. The combo doesn't uh, work out all the way. The, the dive, the final dive didn't, uh, didn't quite hit. Nave Saddle gets blocked, but then the extension doesn't. No more meter for Minimat, though, right now. However, not gonna need meter to close it out. Calm down, man. Calm down. <laughs> calm down, man. My name ain't Minimat. Oh, my damage is big. I'm not calming down. I am actually getting more excited. I, I refuse. I will not cease the hype. Yo, Minimat with the FRC egg. Let's go. Did your watches here trying to find a way? You did did qualify for Midnight Carnival, but damn, you know it's a little bit more money for third place than it is for fourth place. But you know, digital watches don't want to go out like this. Nice catches the hits, good air ender there. For a nice bit of damage, but not all the way in the corner. So probably unblockable. Wow, Gosh, nice. Word. Let's go. Oof. Oh, the chop. Nice block, from digital watch. Oh, not enough though. Mini Mat with an immediate another mix. Of oh, Mini Mat nice. is going in with these, uh, these fuzzy setups. They're yeah, really. They're really uh, ambiguous and just hard to deal with, honestly. It's so Especially scary, too. Yeah, and, and a lot of Chip's options, or Cliff's options, rather. And that does it! Digital Watch is able to take a game! We got 1-1! One, 1-1! One. One, one. Good go. stuff! A lot of Cliff's options will float for a combo, so it challenging Cliff when that pressure's up is really scary. Just because of how much damage potential Cliff can turn things into. So, yeah. yeah, both of these characters, uh, they hit pretty hard too, I mean, just in general. But the, the, mm -hmm. I feel like this game overall just it's just high, super high damage. But these two definitely on um, what some mm -hmm. of the higher ends of the uh, of the damage output, especially if they get like something meaty on you. Oh yeah, and uh, if if Axel's able to catch a counter hit and has meter for bombers, that's is absurd how much damage Axel can output with that. But we're into game three. Digital watches trying to media burst. Mm -hmm. Same with mini man. None of them are not trying to hold any of bodies anything. Into the oh. words as well. He's the Renson there. Does not quite close enough to score any kind of punish afterwards. That JH from Cliff where it looks like he's like scooping the sword down, it's hitboxes. Woof. It's so good. Yo, did she's just been on point with that uh getting getting a lot of uh mileage out of yeah that. Yeah, yeah, the 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 resho, the the unblockable. Yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's got a fuller name, but I just say resho because I'm I'm I got economy of words here as I try to stutter through that phrase. <laughs> F I C A. I think of uh, I don't know if y'all watched uh, Bunko Straight Dogs, but I think of a uh, character Aqua Tagawa. He's like Rasho Mon. That's what I think of when I hear Rasho. Yo, oh, they caught the deep set. There it is. <laughs> Rasho. I cannot believe that that caught the landing frames of the Nape Saddle. Digital Watches still has Burst going into the next round as well, and living on a prayer, she was able to close out that round. So sick! It's a good round for uh, for Digital Watches, especially like on, on a 1-1 one, one situation, where you can just burst early like that, and <laughs> if the worst happens, you have a, you'll get another round with another burst. So. Yeah! Oh, nice! Scores with it again! Yeah, you were talking about so much mileage out of that! I'm not sure if that's not used to fighting Axel or, or what, because that, that seems to be hitting a lot. And like, usually, it's, sometimes you have to like buy... It's one of those things where with command grabs, you sometimes have to buy enough pressure in a string to make someone scared to jump. And uh, Digital Watches, though, is hitting that every single time. Oh, oh, so, 
what I what I think That's is it. happening right now Johnny is that uh so you, you know obviously in the first game Mini Matt had a uh, definitely an idea a clear idea and a, a of what Digital Watch's game plan generally was especially you can tell when she was going for like that cross up uh the cross up move that Axel does and it hits on the other side Mini Matt opted to go for an air throw and um mm -hmm. you know in those situations so. Definitely has some kind of game plan, but Digital Watch is adapting back as well and making the set 2-1 right now. Uh, let's see, Mini Med you know, stepping away. I Maybe they have a connection issues. Let's oh, no, 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 no. That, that that was Loser Semis. Was that three? I thought that was two. No, yeah, sure no. was... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Loser Semis. That first to two. Semis. Oh. <laughs> ah, 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 yeah, ah, so uh, that's Digital ah, Watches. Ah, takes it over ah, Mini Med. Mini yeah. Med has ended their bracket run. Uh, well, good showing to you, Matt. Yo, good stuff, man. Yo, you know, and uh, qualifying for uh, Midnight yeah. Carnival. You there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, still a victory. Mini Matt showed up, played very, very well. Took some big wins that uh, you know uh, we no not to discredit Mini Matt whatsoever, but took some wins that some that might have been a little bit surprising. But uh, the, the run ends there, and now we got Raekwon versus Drus. It's gonna be first to three. It's gonna be Potemkin versus Abba. Three out of five, too, so they both definitely going to be... Uh, oh, yeah. Will the Druze come loose? Let's see. The, the Druze going to have to come loose if you're going to have uh, right. you know, stand a chance against the chef. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry if y'all heard me uh, sip some water there. Got to stay hydrated. Stay Just, hydrated, uh, everyone. Stay hydrated, everybody drink water. Oh, no. My, my, my voice don't say don't say this dulcet on its own. Yeah, the the overhead move from Axel is uh, I'm not trying to pronounce this. Rai Segeki, I think. Rai Segeki, maybe. I don't know. Rai Try my best. <laughs> That's all we can do. Yeah. <laughs> Trying our best to connect to the to connect connect to this lobby so we can get Raekwon versus Drus. If you Google Axel overhead, by the way, it's not going to give you the character. First, you're going to learn about a sump pump. So just nobody else do that. Oh. Huh. All right. Thank oh. you. Okay. All right. Huh. Thank you, JMD. Yeah. I do remember that Stay Hydrated bot. Did, did we have to cancel the Stay Hydrated bot for some reason? Did, did, did Stay Hydrated bot retweet someone problematic or something? Oh, no. <laughs> I have no well, idea. Every, every, everyone needs to hydrate. Please. <laughs> Let me pull up, uh, pull up the wiki right now. Where's Axel? There he is. Those, those, those sparkly pearls. Right? Yes! Alright, we got a new lobby up here. Hopefully we get this rolling. Please do consider hitting up the Macherino if you haven't already. Got a free coupon code you can use, or you can always contribute some dollars directly if you feel like it. We got a hell of a prize pool in there already. Oh, rise the Keki. Okay, yeah. You just, yeah, you was right. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, yo, I didn't know the. Uh, that's the same name on the um, UFO. Okay. No, we still calling that UFO. Oh no no, we're, de <laughs> we're definitely still calling it UFO. We're not, we're not, we're not calling. No, it's UFO. Yeah, yeah no 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 no, I'm not. Please please please. <laughs> Far be it from me. Far be it from me. <laughs> yeah, just like this. All right, we got a new lobby up. We got Raekwon. Waiting for Druce to pull in as well. That's the one thing about this uh, this port. Lobby's a little bit unstable sometimes, but beyond that though, excellent port. Very cheap as well. Three dollars, and I played this game for 230 hours. You do the math on on what the uh, hour to cost uh, cost to hour ratio is on that. But while you're doing that math, we're gonna see some uh, numbers crunched out here from Potemkin. Probably some big ass numbers going up against Abba from Druce. And there's gonna be no numbers from uh from Abbott. It's just gonna be blood and and uh, mm -hmm. guts. You know? <laughs> and, and, blood and guts. We'll get it. Is it first guts. to three as well? Mm hmm. Yo, the book's got a face too. Is she reading the Necronomicon? Is that what's up? <laughs> I'm just Everything wondering. <laughs> Oof. Damn, there it is. Can get the key grab. Goes ahead and uses the blood pack to activate instead. We got Moroha activated here. Break one. Ooh, has to hold the pressure in the corner. Immediately burst there, though. Pretty smart against Abba there. You don't even want to... If once Abba gets her pressure up and has more resources, the more she can steamroll you. So sometimes you just catch that burst out early because you don't even want to give her the opportunity. 
Yeah, ooh, and Juice is just, uh... Carry the corner. Taking that, that, uh, that anti- that, that, uh, counter hit air to air. Ooh, nice. The butt falls. Come on down. Nice burst as well. Doesn't want to have to keep the knockdown and lose some of that Maroha bar. One more knockdown should, will, will do it. It does it. Yeah, right corner right now, knockdown. um, you know, just, just doing, spinning all the races that, that they can to keep... Wow! Really? It's the unblockable as well. No more burst. Oh, has a burst available. Don't know if we'll see it used. I don't think we're going to see it used. I really don't think so. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure because there wasn't enough meter for uh, Donzai, so like just bursting and... Oh, nice! Okay, catch it with the low. Good stuff from Raekwon. Raekwon takes round one. Raekwon? Go Southeast! Do we know where Juice is from? Is Juice also Southeast or...? Midwest, I want to say. Okay, West, cool. West, I check. Ooh. Oh, that pop buster was so far. Ooh. I love it. Let's go with the pop buster. Oh, nice! The Danzai absorbs the hit, but then able to land in time to block the follow-up hit from ABBA. Oh, slide head slightly missed time, unfortunately. ABBA has a weird wake-up time, so it can be... You'll see a lot of stuff miss on her. Nice! Use the burst before actually going into the dizzy state to push away Raekwon. That was the idea. It didn't quite work out just to create space so that the dizzy state would be over before Raekwon could get back in. However, Raekwon was able to get back in and cause the punish, but I really like it conceptually from Juice. Yeah, Raekwon was definitely like two steps ahead of Juice uh, in, that, in that second round, especially in that last uh, mm -hmm. situation with the, uh, you know, what you were just mentioning. Yeah. But, um, you know, Juice de definitely... Um, I, I would say, if not on the, you know, at least on the same level as Raekwon, so... No, it's, it's, it, we, 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 we're just getting started. Oh yeah, yeah this, is a, this is a long set. We got first to three here, that was just game one, this could go much longer. There's a knockdown. Oof. Ooh, Clash, nice! Yeah, has to use the burst, can't afford the knockdown, there it is. Mm -hmm. Goes for the flick combo. Ooh, wow. look at that hot left there. Uh, yo, look, look at the, look at her Checking the hoop. Catches the butt fall. Check it, okay. Oh, here's the key grab. You know, Raekwon's got burst here, but this could still be easy. Oh, nope. Catches with the leggy. Just, just, just spreading the legs out, yo. He's like, yeah, get away from me. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. Potemkin has been hard at work all day. Gotta stretch out those feet. Oh, what a 5 8 from Drew. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I saw the tune him. <laughs> Look like a melty 5A confirm. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely was. <laughs> Yo, I'm a real anime player. I can identify stuff like that and call it out on the fly now. Damn, I've come such a far, long way. All right. <laughs> Speaking of long way, Druce is trying to... Uh, yeah. Trying to, uh, this, this path is looking a little rough right now. Raekwon's trying to call... Ooh, the second game that oh. count hit. Oh, Raekwon's looking for the burst. A little, a little too early. Okay. Just really good now Druce is, uh, Druce is definitely going to take this... Uh, this to their advantage, and I'm like, ooh, back dash! Slightly. Back dash from Raekwon, wow! Oh, well, there's a back dash there that avoided that. I thought it was just a bad timing there. Nice job from Raekwon. However, Drew's able to close out that round and even up the round count. Okay. Ooh, another... Oh, that was a 6P counter hit, too. Oh, you got a break. <laughs> next time, next time one of those land, you, you, you might... <laughs> you might just lose your life. Ooh, ooh there's the Danzai, okay. Oh, oh, really? No. That was a... The key grab off onto the burst? You know, it didn't work out afterwards, but I love that, though. Oh, I, I, I'm so I'm so speechless about what happened. Did, did Raekwon just... just no? Wait, oh! That oh. was... So, yo, that's sheep. Oh, yo, this guy so close to dead! He got nerfed from the original Axon Core, too. He's still grabbing people from, like, half, half a mile away. Right? Oh. Slide head. Oh, blocks the butt, force break slide to the other side, gets the key grab, got the Roha activated. This is definitely doable from Druce here. Has burst available as well, but so low on health, not going to even get a chance to use it. And that's it. That's game two. Oh, right now over Druce. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'd love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and like you're talking about like that Potemkin, uh, throw range being so big in it, it was it even bigger in accent core vanilla i, I would like to say yes <laughs> Damn. i would like to say don't quote me on that but i would like to say yes i can i can pull up the hitbox thing and you know after this match a bit but nah, yeah, yeah, it's on the action right now uh, definitely need to see juice uh juice change something up like 
Ooh, okay, that was a good bit of trade there. Okay, oh. Raekwon pushing to the corner here. Okay, good bag. Well, Drew's okay, putting that pretty uh, pre normal out there to, um, you know, for Raekwon to uh, grab the chance. Okay, Yo, nice. Big ups for the Raid Elven Shadow. Thank you for joining us, folks. This is Boston Bluebeat. We are in winner's finals right now with Raekwon and Drews. Thank you, Bozak. Much love. Appreciate it. Ooh, oh! Drew, yeah, Drews just not trying, not trying to be in a blocking situation against Raekwon at all. And, uh, as I it. say that, yeah, gonna take that, uh, that first looking game from Drews this whole set, mm -hmm. looking with a healthy life, you know. You know, all right there. Oh, tries to find a way in here. Really? Just jumping in with those things, too? Ooh. Rick, Rick, starting to back dash a lot more, too, against, uh, against Drew. Mm hmm Lieutenant Elf Shadow wouldn't be like a Raid boss in a, in a game, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he? <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway. All right, scores the knockdown here. Gets a second knockdown. Uh-oh. Not quite able to get oh, the third one there. Tries ooh, to dance. That doesn't work out. From Raekwon. Get the, ooh, the flick combos. Oh. Ooh. That's so rough. Oh, yeah. Scores a grab. Yeah, let's grab the okay. Has a chance here. Up around as well. So if Druze can take this momentum, got the Goku Moroha. Oh, oh, this is a good start. No burst available for Raekwon. This actually... One more mix up this might be or two. Yeah, oh, or, uh, and oh. field has to jump up and over it though. It messes with the approach. Backdash into the scoop. <laughs> One round apiece here. Raekwon looking to make this a clean 3-0. Drews does not want to go quietly into that good night, trying to find a way to make something happen here. Coming so close, but Raekwon is like a stop sign at the finish line there, cutting off Drews from closing it out each time. Oh, getting yeah, snatched up like a like a coupon in a good uh, grocery store deal. Oh no! <laughs> Yo, that's right. Trying to get that two for one. Ooh, oh, oh, the oh, oh, It's a trade. Paper. Oh, ooh. no! Hit oh, this really with the this. button mid combo and then get the ball. Oh. Druce is re retaliating with Aubrey. Oh, respect. Yes. <laughs> Pass the blood pack. <laughs> if it's a kill, my blood pack here. Oh, gets the key grab instead. Nice. Good stuff. Put that force field up. Okay, has burst available here. Does Drew? So even if... Nice! Nice. Drews, on the board! Drews, yeah. Staying Hell alive right yeah. there and needing that. Mm -hmm. And the Raekwon, uh, you know, both both players are... Uh, they're definitely using a lot of backdash in this set. Yeah, Not that was... Uh, that was uh, oh, sorry, did you mean to cut you off there? Oh, you're good. Not dealing with their normal uh, meaties and their, uh, you know, if you're Raekwon, you're not dealing with the pot busters. Even though, like, you know, if you're, you're Potemkin, you can, you make a read on a backdash like that. You can, a grappler in a guest situation. And I would say both these characters are pretty much sort of, uh, you know, the, 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 I guess the approach is similar to grapplers. So, <laughs> definitely yes, say that. Yeah, someone pointing out that that was a uh, blood pack in the key trap to uh, avoid the uh, dizzy air. So, yeah, my bad on the misread there. It's a lot of action, folks. I can't be perfect. I do what I can. Yeah, so I do frame per we try doing frame perfect commentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we in there. We in there. Right now, speaking of in there, Drusus uh, is <laughs> trying to get in there against Raekwon. Ooh, getting a nice pickup. Ooh, Yo, okay. Look at this damage here. Got a lot of meter on oh, deck, too. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, Raekwon. oh, Raekwon two steps ahead. Fires again. right back up. That's that. That's that experience in this match is, you know, just really showing. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh thanks to pick up as well. No oh, burst available for Rick Wan. No, my boyfriend is pissed. Hold this key. Oh, that's it. Okay, Drus is a uh, definitely. You know, so Raekwon's style is definitely. Um, I would say if he's if, if he's not steamrolling you a little bit, you know, gets that gets those uh, those rounds that take a bit of time and uh, mm -hmm. that, that's what you normally see from him. But um, right now Drus is uh. Taking a bit off the uh, the the chip in the book from Raekwon, you know, <laughs> those first two those first two games is information and oh, I see what you're saying. Going. Two straight games right now. I see what Whoa. you're saying. I see what you're saying. Using those, uh, yeah, Raekwon. Uh, we we mentioned this before when we saw Raekwon play previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had first couple games were were kind of slower paced and data, and then suddenly cranked it out. And now it looks like, yep, yep, yep I, I feel you. Juice is putting in that work. You got that Goken Robot oh, oh. up. Raekwon oh, on the fire right now. Oh, oh, the slide oh, no. head. Uh -oh. oh no, it was so close, oh, double flick. That's it, that's it. RC? Yeah, oh no. Oh, damn! Oh. That it? Bam, yes. That's it? Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Three, 
All right, breaking on sitting on a sitting on going to grand finals point, but Drews is trying to get it up to a game five, and Drews definitely still you know can make it happen. Oh, and that's why you make it happen right there with that's that counter hit starter like that, taking him to the oil. Ooh, oh, right. the oh no, loses the corner position, then gets scooped afterwards. Good. It was looking so good, and now it looks so bad. It looks so bad, and you in the corner. Oh, nice. Oh, Oh, hey, what if we go coast to coast with this combo? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Oh, we huh, definitely look at go that. coast to coast. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Yo, coast to coast, just like this rollback connection allowing us. Let's go. This is continental traveling across the screen and gold burst. Gold burst. Got a lot of meter on deck now to play with. Oh, break slide gets through, dashes back up and gets the key grab. Let's go. Or move back up and get the key grab. Has the life leap now. Burst available for Raekwon and Potemkin got that high health value, so oh, no. Wow. Oh, this might be it right here. One more mix. Oh, and Raekwon gonna take it out. Yo, the South holding it down. Good stuff to Juice, though. 3-1 uh, Raekwon gonna go to Grand Finals. Looking pretty comfortable mm -hmm. on the throne right now. But, um, you know, Juice is not out of it yet. Gonna go to the Losers Finals where they'll face, uh... Yeah, Digital Watches. Digital Watches. Digital Watches. Yeah, that was a that was absolutely within striking distance for Drews as well. So if Drews is able to fight up from the lower half of the bracket, that could absolutely have broken the other way. That is having to win two sets against Raekwon, which is an extremely tall order. But and also this Drews versus Digital Watches, that's a run back. Oh yeah, it is. You're right. You're that's right. That's a run back. And now it's first to three. Last time Drews went over Digital Watches 2-0. So we'll have to see if this one breaks differently here. But. Let's get Digital Watches in here and up against Drews, and we'll see how it breaks down. You know, oh, I yeah, think, like... Oh, sorry, please. Guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> I insist. I really have a stuff to say. You, you, you were talking. I will, I will be... I will let you finish your statement. Damn, no, I didn't have anything else to say. Why you gotta put me on the spot oh, okay. like that? <laughs> oh, no, I was gonna say, uh, this tournament, it's just, it's been a very, uh... Ooh, it's yeah. been a very salty bracket. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? The, um, the number of runbacks that have happened. Whew. All right. We got the players in the room now. We got Drews going up against Digital Watches. ABBA versus Axel. Yeah, so we, last time this was... This oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was going to say, this typically uh, is, I would say, uh, Axel's uh, you know, advantage. But, mm -hmm. you know, ABBA gets in. She gets a grab. Gets a gets a good counter hit. You you could not play it for the rest of the round. You could die yeah. in like one hit. Yeah, Abba does just such a good job of steamrolling once she gets rolling, and it's it can happen. We'll see. Uh, however, though, Digital Watches is absolutely you know had. Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, didn't Digital Watches? I want to say Digital Watches sent Skeletal Minion to Losers Bracket a couple weeks back. Yes, yes, that happened. Yeah, so Digital Watches absolutely has the ABBA experience and knows how to fight ABBA. We'll see how it works. Let's do it. And I bet if you're Drews, I bet you you tune into some of that, you know, oh, ooh, and Drews uh, getting a good counter hit starter, but I guess feeling a little burst thirsty, either that or not really having confidence in that confirm. Either way, mm -hmm. regardless, hopefully they're still with both their first. Oh, that's the anti-air. Oh no, Digital Watches with the drop on the confirms in the air. Ooh, yeah, okay. It's so unfortunate if she would have hit that bomber there, that would have led to some really good pressure and probably some pretty nice damage as well, but didn't quite work out. Checking with those two H's there into the six H. Ooh, just gets away from the Goku Maroha activate. I kind of like it. Oh, can't run forever though. Oh yeah, first from Digital Watches, she definitely needed that. Oh, and Juice is just not, Juice is not staying, it's just oh, staying no. all kinds of loose in that gut. Ooh, ah, Damn, look at that damage. Abba doing so much work. Really? Able to take the trade and then get the dash up button for the OTG hit to close it out? Yo. What an excellent trade for watches right there. Definitely need that. That is, that is lemonade from lemons right there. Mm-hmm. And who's nice. got a burst right now? Probably gonna get spent soon. Yeah, there it is. Oh, trying to slide in. Uh, FRC hit really afterwards. Of course, the oh. bomber loop. Oh, oh doesn't okay, yeah. the combo. He's now. Okay. Ooh, no, he's gotta block that low. Right? Ooh, key grab. Party can start right now. This is gonna be kind of rough for Digital Watches unless you can find a way out. Really? Donzai blows up the bomber. That sucks. Takes the trade. Ooh. Turns into a victory. That's game one going to Digital Watches. And uh, Whew. yeah, that was uh, that was pretty fast from uh, from Watches. But, but both of them, both of them, and you know, in, in that set, were making uh, pretty uh, pretty fast reads. So, 
How is Abba's defense value? Is Abba's defense value on like the lower end at all? Because like, because I did go pretty quick, so I just kind of wonder. I'm not totally. Oh no, she has a high HP. Hmm. All right, never mind. The guts might be low though. I see. I see. All right, let's do it. Game two, player side swapped. Let's go. And I like that uh that blue and orange uh the sickle from Axel. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna comment earlier on this color. I like the uh, white hair with the uh, the black bandana. That was sick. Yeah. Oh god, there's damage though on Axel in the corner already. We're only 15 seconds into the match. You're already down most of your life bar. Is this dead? Yeah, this is dead. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not. real, real damn close though. That uh, is. Yeah, no, no, it was dead. <laughs> that, that was it. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't totally sure, but I was like, uh oh. Looking, looking kind of grim here. Catches with the two H, gets a stagger out of it. Not able to turn into anything else though. Ooh, catches oh, catches the scoop back in the corner. Where you going? Oh, oh, that was ridiculous. That cross, huh? Oh, sitting on a perfect so far as well. Scores the hit after the Maroha activate. Has the pressure up. No meter for Drews right now as well. Uh oh. He's just going here. He needs to calm down with all these, uh, all these confirms and all these, this. uh, thick cross ups and stuff. I had never. That was. <laughs> Did you see how fast that turned around? <laughs> from, the, from round one? Damn! I, I blinked and then some. Like, at first I was like, oh, Drews has got it now. And then I blinked and Digital Watch has already won the round. Damn! Oh, side got burnt in the key grab. Oh no! Watch is looking. Oh! Catches the Rasho. Nice! Ah. Yo, these sides both got hella chains on them. I just noticed that. <laughs> this guilty gear is gonna be chains, belts. You already know the. You already know the deal. Put the hero belts and chains. Nice of you. Trying to tell us about your interests. Hmm. Ah, all right. Checking with the rents in there. Has meter on hand. Those digital watches. So it has a couple of different cancel options available. Doesn't even need them though. Closes it out. That is game two. Going to digital watches. She is on set point with the next game. That was definitely a bonk on that uh <laughs> on that on that last counter hit from uh from digital watches. She is playing mm -hmm. no games. Trying to get to trying to get to Raekwon with the uh the quickness because you need all that um. You know, oh, you, you need, need all your all your energy. You don't want to have to exa have energy. to have to you it yourself. Need, you need all your water. You need <laughs> you need you need some trail mix. You need you need everything. I, honestly, I kind of think that that might be affecting Drews here a little bit. It's exhausting. To, fighting up against Raekwon was probably a lot of mental juice cashed out. It, this is exhausting, yeah. folks. To play at this level in a game with this much detail, it's hard. That's why you'll often see players like you know water is great, and you know you should always drink water daily. That's but it. sometimes you need a little. Uh, I would say, you'll see like Lost Soul, um, you, he'll, he'll, like, he'll have some Coca-Cola sometimes just to get that, you know, that sugar and stuff, mm -hmm. and, and wow. sometimes you just need a little sugar, and Ooh. maybe that's, you know, maybe Drew, maybe got a, ooh, nice, nice. maybe you got a, they, maybe they got a can of some, some Coke right now or something, that's just quite, who knows. No, ain't got time, ain't got time though, only one more, one more game to go, mm. Drew doesn't uh, pull it together here in Digital Watch, ooh. pulls it out. Okay, Drew's looking a lot right now though. Oh, that's Let's do it. Oh, oh, get the scoop. Oh, no. don't burn. Takes the air tech and then turns oh. it into a combo afterwards. I love it. Oh, you would hate to see this happen if you're a uh, Juice, but if you're a uh, Digital Watches, you are like, yes. <laughs> oh, if you're Digital Watches, you're like, hmm, I don't need the soda. I'm doing great right now. Key grab. All right, Juice. I want to see Juice get a game here. I want to see this go. Come on. Yes. Is the Donzai? But the fake you know, fake is real, but not looking too fake team right now with that combo. Oh, nice DP from Digital Watches. Oh, yeah. If Tag if, it, if, if it's a question of uh, fatigue, what what Drews needs then is a, some sort of momentum restore, some sort of spirit restore. And like what what when I mean by that is like a big hit, a big combo, something to go just declaratively right for Drews. And right now though, I don't think there's gonna be an opportunity for it because that's gonna be it right there. Digital Watches Ooh. closes it out and advances into top two. Mm hmm. Thank you for, um, you know, Juice, thank you for coming out to Boston Blue Beat and, you mm -hmm. know, showing support and partaking and also earning your qualifying spot in the Midnight Carnival. Um, you also finished top three, so you get some, uh, some Metorino money. Hey! Hey. So, you know, not, not too bad. And you go ahead and get some food now. You know, go ahead and, and also, Digital Watches got that run back. You know, taking that honor back. Because that was Juice that went over previously when they met. Yeah, yeah. So, if you're a, if you're digital watches, you have a lot of momentum right now. For sure. Oh yeah, and you're gonna need it though, cause it's Raekwon. It's no, 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 no small order. That is, it is tough to deal with. And we got Raekwon in the room already. Raekwon in a three out of five. Let's 
<laughs> no, two or three out of fives. Two or three out of fives. Yeah, potentially. Oh, <laughs> your heart. You're, you're definitely going to feel some strain after, <laughs> after this. Right? Oof. And you were talking, too, about, like, if you're going to tournaments or you're trying to play or something, you got to have some sort of, uh, a little bit of sugar or something on hand just to restore your energy levels. Like, you know, don't don't go chugging no, uh, you know, sugar water or anything. But, yeah, like, I always carry around, like, I got, like, Gatorades and, uh, and protein bars in my purse. And I just, like, am, like, looking for anybody who's, like, in my crew. Like, do you need anything? Do you need anything? <laughs> protein, Gatorade. Uh, oh, yo, we, yo, who just hit up the match arena? We just got up to 250 on the match arena. Thank you so much. Oh, can we get the maximum to 250? Oh, I <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you said we got to 250. Well, you know, we got one more match to go here. If anybody else wants to contribute to that match arena, it is, uh, we're getting close to the finish line here. Then we got the code y'all can use. And if you want to contribute directly, you can do that as well. I know some of you have already. So thank you very much for that. But for right now, let's talk about contributing to this damage that we're going to set. Oh, King actually with another uh, $25 contribution. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Arataro King carrying a Boston Blue Beat uh, prize pool. Well, uh, Arataro King a couple other books. But let's get back. Dastling mm -hmm. as well. That's who I was trying to think of earlier. Yeah, I got $100 donation. But, uh, ups, and uh, speaking of Naturino money, uh, Digital Watch, she is playing like she is trying to get some of this Naturino money right now, sending, <laughs> sending Raekwon right to the corner. Right? <laughs> Getting that big damage, too. The bomber is also his axle color is beautiful. Hey, you you already know you know the vibes. Oh, yeah. the vibes. oh hell yeah, no vibes. Oh, Gigantor into the flick. Gonna get the scoop oh. afterwards. Let's go. Almost on stun here. Don't even need the stun. Ten hut on that overhead. All right, what up? Oh, slide head. Call with a good start. Digital watch is good. You know, getting, getting a bit of getting space right now. This is Grappler versus Zoner. You never. <laughs> they're they're fighting on the opposite ends of the spectrum right now. Oh, Raekwon with the punish on that tech. Oh, overhead. Pop. Ah, flick. Pop Buster. Yes. Mm. Oh, misses the follow up. Ooh. Yeah, this is looking rough for Digital Watch. Bag dashing. Oh, getting tagged. Oh, dead angle. Not getting punished for that dead angle. All right, block from Raekwon. Right. Oh no, that was unsafe. Yeah, Digital Watch is gonna get that nice punish. Getting the burst back now too. Digital Watch is likely gonna look for a gold burst. Ah! Yo, <laughs> there you it is. It. Nice. <laughs> need that. You need that right now. Oh! Oh no! Rising Gecky. Yo, let's go. Digital Watch has got so much bar to work with here. However, Raekwon's still living. Only one little bit of chip damage needed. That'll do it. Hmm. Nice, nice from Raekwon. But Digital yeah. Watch, you know, she was definitely uh, surmounting a comeback, but... Yeah, I thought she was uh, going to faint that last rat show there, and that might have been able to give up the... Might have been able to block in time, but unfortunately the rat show came out, and Raekwon was able to find the way in and close it out. Um, I... I would like for, uh... I would like for Digital Watches to take a bit of a... Especially since you're in the Grand Finals, um... You probably want to just take take as much time as you need the character select. You're fighting Raekwon, so you oh, yeah. this is like this is this is a this is a long, long, long set. This is like this is old school four out of seven type style potentially. So yeah, like if you're if you want to win the yeah, if you're on the loser side of a grand final set, take your time because unless you are so confident in things, like you are gonna have a long road ahead of you. And if you try to steamroll through while the other person has the momentum, that's so hard to fight. And, ooh, just like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, Raekwon is uh, definitely got the, you know, even though uh, Digital Watch, she got, you know, she's got quite a bit of momentum from losing, you know, from winning that uh, losers final. Mm -hmm. Raekwon has just been, I would want to say for the most part during this bracket, you know, been looking, I would say, very comfortable. Oh yeah, Raekwon is un unshakable right now. It feels like Raekwon has just been showing up and running the game plan, and yeah, I, you haven't seen any cracks in the offense there. However. Currently, Digital Watch is sitting on a perfect and scores that throw. Okay, on our first perfect in this grand finals, let's go. That was... Digital Watch's throw game has been so on point today. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> Literally just like that. Right? Yeah, and throwing, throwing Potemkin as Axel? Come on. <laughs> really? Had the read on the slide head and caught it with the Rochelle? <laughs> oh! Oh, oh it's my show for show. Trying to get back and away from 
Ooh. Oh, nice! Stuffs it once more with the rinse in that time. Oh, slide head from Quan though. Mm. Oh, oh no, the this time. Yeah. Oh, oh. faded the counter. Oh, another. Oh, ooh, okay. Ooh. That's a classic, classic uh, counter to the counter type moves. You just scoop him with the command grab. If it has to be activated by a strike, get him with the throw. Digital Watch is escaping out of there. Oh, Raekwon going for a Actually, crouching head counter hit. Ooh, looking okay, real good he, right now. He's a few more hits to close this out oh, here. Either make a nice clean yeah. opener for a combo oh, or has to fight. No, with the goal burst oh, didn't work out. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. Caught with the low. There. I, I got hit by that low too. If I, if I was betting right there, I, I, I would not have bet low. I got hit by that. Yeah, yeah. Mo mo most people would have got hit low. I was definitely, uh, after that, I probably would have hit some buttons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's see. You know, Raekwon sitting on tournament point right now, but oh, I don't like this from Digital Watches. I, I think she should really take a at least fifteen seconds. You know, just yeah. just a little bit of time. I don't like going in, and you're fighting a. It, it's like yeah, it's a zoner versus a grappler, but grapplers with momentum, they just need three reads for a round. Three, yeah, good. yeah. You don't need so much more else than that, and it's like take take the time, take the time. Like it's a, there's a counter in this game. It'll, it'll time out on its own. Just just hang out on your character. You got 30 seconds. It's fine. Right now, though, oh, man, I don't even have 30 oh. seconds to live. Oof. Oh, digital. Oh, oh yeah. No. I, I I know you know Faust and Patip can have the same voice actor, but everything is going uh Rick Wong's <laughs> way right now. I did not know that. All right, good to know. Oh, the overhead. That does it. That's round one. Digital watches back against the wall here. What is she gonna do? She, yeah, because Raekwon is, you know, as as a representative of the South, you know, I, I don't mind taking this for the, uh, for the crowd. <laughs> if Raekwon wants to send us free so I can watch Higurashi, I, I, I appreciate it. Oh, I think he hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he hurt. <laughs> Yo, damn, maybe I'm doing some Umineko later on tonight. Oh, oh really? Go to the other what, side? What was that? What was this like? Raekwon knows. He's like, yeah, I gotta watch that Umineko too, dog. <laughs> I mean, that, I, I gotta watch that Higurashi. Yo, what's Beato up to? Oh, oh you get scooped! No! This is so close to over. Oh, the okay, over. okay, if you were gonna make a comeback, this is how it's gonna happen. Okay, 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 okay. Watch this. I wanna see this round so bad. Let's do it, digital watches. Thanks with the rash show. Doesn't go for it there. Backing off here, Dren giving up a lot of space. He knows that she's on death's door, trying to play it really smart here. Uses the FRCs to extend the pressure off the of Renson. Scores a grab. There's the burst from Rick one. Okay, oh no, the slide head! That was so bad. Catches the back dash with the hammer ball. Well, yeah, Raekwon takes the seven. Is your champion? The South gonna hold it down. The South gonna hold it down. The South gonna hold it down. Which means New York wins because if I win and the South wins, then New York wins. You know what I'm saying? So, property, <laughs> property. I'm with you. I'm with you. So Raekwon takes first place. And then we got Digital Watches coming in in second place. Then we got uh, Druce in third. And was that. And, uh, Minimat Minimat and four? And four. Yes, Minimat yes, and those four players will be our qualifiers for the Midnight Carnival, which is going down in early April. There's a couple more qualifying events going on, but that's going to be a hell of a tournament. It's a 32-player tournament that is through qualifying events such as this one. And of course, big ups to our other top four players as well. Nuclear and Cheese. Kamrod here as well. Uh, shout out to Elf and Shadow for the raid. <laughs> that would mm -hmm. be one yes. of the qualifiers as well. This, thank you very much for that. Yeah, we got Nuclear Cheese and Jace also bringing it up in the top eight, and as well as A3R and Tails. Uh, but only four can advance to the Midnight Carnival, and thank you to the rest of the players who entered, and thank you everybody for tuning in. Some of those Macharino codes are still good if you want to hop in for the match, if you want to contribute and uh, help out a little bit. And yeah, uh, next week, Boston Blue Beat will be back for our regular uh, install installation of the tournament. Install? Episode? What am I thinking of here? There's a different word I'm thinking of, but I'm dropping it right now. Dragon Install. Dragon Install. My brain is so fried from these matches right now. Whew. Oh, that nuclear cheese. Right? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say a couple words, I guess. Uh, oh. uh, thanks for uh, everyone to tuning in. Um, it's really surreal getting like uh, 100 plus people watching. Uh, we've been growing pretty steadily, and I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with everyone that came out. And I'm I'm ecstatic at like just the amount of um, people we have coming back. Uh, we're always looking to like keep things uh, going uh, so that uh, the participants enjoy, uh, but like obviously a stream as well. But uh, participants and everyone entering bracket primary focus for us. Um, 
And um, if you want some more uh, gear uh, action, uh, Casa also in our um, uh, New England region is doing a uh, plus R tournament uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Um, they'll be having a qualifier uh, sometime in the future, so uh, keep an, an eye out for that. We'll definitely be retweeting it. It'll be next and... week. <laughs> qualifier next week. Uh, yep. And um, while I have you here, if you're interested, we do this every week, obviously. Um, same time, same place, uh, 6.30. Um, and if you want to sign up, like here, I'll throw in the link for the event page. <laughs> All right. All right. That, that's going to be it from me. Yeah, thank you so much. And that was Teto, uh, who uh, is our TO for this event, one of the TOs. Thank you so much, Teto, for uh, doing all that you do. Big ups to JMD and Agro Craig as well, helping out with TO events and anybody else behind the scenes scenes that I might be missing. I think I got everybody, though. And of course, uh, Milky J, pleasure as always. Of course, well, the the swell. Uh, what, what, so what is what is uh, all right? So since we're at the end of this, what what is what is our official name? Is it uh is it swell uh what was it? Swell no, PJ, no, milky sw- swell, swell milk, or swell milk. Those are the <laughs> options. What, what do you what do you want to feel about any of this? <laughs> yeah, like swell milk, smoky J. <laughs> <laughs> Swelky J, I think is I, that might be my favorite one. But uh, yeah, do you want to follow me on Twitter at SwellGGs? I talk about fighting games and gay stuff. You can follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at the Milky J. All the Milky J. And um, anything you guys have anything else you want to? Yeah, I think we covered it. Uh, check out Casa tomorrow. Uh, Boston Blue Beat also does Blaze Blue, and uh, we'll be back next week. And check out the rest of the Midnight Carnival qualifier events. And thank you to everybody who watched and played. Yeah, have a good night. All right. Take care, everyone. Be well. Be excellent to each other and stay spicy.